Well, we're going to talk about Justin Fields. Okay, all right, uh, yeah. So let's, yeah. You got, ready? you got your, your suitcase? Yeah. So this is all you brought on the plane? This is it. <laughs> <laughs> let's get down to business. What's in it? Ritz crackers? Uh, on today's part of my take, we have our very good friend, Jerry O'Connell, in person. He flew to Chicago for 10 hours just to do our annual fantasy football preview with Jerry O'Connell, uh, and it delivered. He wrote a poem for Jake at the end. It was a great time, a lot of laughs. College football's back. We're going to talk about that. We have the finale for Mount Rushmore season. Uh, we're just – we're like a 16 and – no, 15 and one team playing none of the starters in week 18. Hank is just, uh, it's Hank's sad. on, Hank's it's on sad. cruise control right now. Yeah, it's now. sad. It's sad. All right. I so, think it's actually, it's, it's way more disgusting what Hank did than what we did in the pizza draft. Yes, I'd agree. But we're going to run back the pizza draft for real this time. Uh, off the dome. Hank's going for the first overall pick. Yeah, he's going for the first overall pick in next year's Mount Rushmore. We're going to do Fire Fest of the week. We're going to send everyone on to Labor Day weekend. Great long weekend and football's back. What? I'll give you another bonus in this yeah. episode. Just a prediction off the top. If you've never heard Hank yawn, I think this might be a hot no, Hank yawn episode. The listeners. Also, I completely forgot. We have presentations today. Oh, yeah. We have the presentations. Very cool, Jake. New Three place. Presentation. Yeah, yeah, new face, new place. Uh, rules. Are you doing rules? Yeah, rules. And then you to Hank uh, football match. Yeah, Hank is going to ace his football match. Three part course. presentation. Okay, so before we get to all of that, a quick word from our friends at Verizon. Everyone knows that I'm a Verizon guy, so is PFT. This season, Verizon is making sure that NFL fans have a great plan to watch all the out-of-market Sunday afternoon games. What's not a great plan? Crowded sports bars with obnoxious rival fans or texting your family for play-by-play -play updates because you don't get the game. What is a great plan? For a limited time, you can get NFL Sunday ticket from YouTube and YouTube TV on us. That's a value of up to $449. Plus, when you switch to Verizon, you can also get a new 5G phone on them like the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. All with Verizon's My Plan, the plan for fans. Get NFL Sunday ticket from YouTube and YouTube TV on us at verizon.com slash take. Make sure you're ready. You have your plan of action for Sundays coming up. Do it right now with Verizon for this season when you switch to My Plan with eligible phone purchase and Unlimited Plus. Up to $449 value applies to NFL Sunday ticket season to 2023 to 2024. Only additional terms and embargoes apply to NFL Sunday ticket on YouTube. No refunds. I'm a Verizon guy. I love Verizon. Verizon is hooking up all the AWLs who want to sign up for my plan, the new plan. Uh, and you get Sunday ticket on them on YouTube and YouTube TV. So go become a Verizon person. It is the best in the biz and they're getting you ready for football. Okay, let's go. Welcome to part of my take. Today is Friday, September 1st. It's the first of the month. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's the first of the month. Ma, we having a wonderful day. <laughs> Football's back. And I love it. And I love it, Big Cat. We got to watch multiple meaningful football games tonight. Um, it's back for most of us. Yes. We got we, we, we got to watch. Uh, I had Graham Mertz, PTSD. Great kid. They're just kids. Just a reminder, college football. They're just kids. Yeah. But uh, it, under pressure didn't feel so good. It, it, it was not good for him tonight. Utah looks great, even though they don't have their starting quarterback, but they still look really good. Um, I say it was back for most of us because there was a big, big fiasco going on with cable service tonight. Yes. Spectrum and ESPN decided to end their contract, terminate their contract at kickoff oh my for God. Utah, Florida. Oh my so God. if you have Spectrum... You got treated to the pregame shows and then a fade out to black at kickoff. That is terrorism. These are terrorists that we're dealing with. And you're making me choose between Spectrum, a cable company that everybody hates because we hate all cable companies, it seems like. And then ESPN. And I don't you don't have a winner. I don't want to root for either one of these sides because I'm sure ESPN is charging a fuckload of money to the cable companies. The cable companies rip you off every month when they make you pay your cable bill 
and now they're just cutting service off at the worst possible time to start the year. This is injustice. It's fucking terrorism is what it this is. This is injustice. This should be, we should march on Washington. We should. Uh, this is bullshit. I'm boycotting ESPN the, until next next Monday night. Okay, I was going to say until tomorrow night. I think they have a couple games tomorrow. Okay, night, so, I'll, so I'll boycott until tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the good news is, though, uh, people who are watching on Fox got to see football in its purest form. Uh, I'm talking about Nebraska, Minnesota. First half, can I read seven possessions? Mm -hmm. Seven possessions, punt, punt, field goal, interception, miss field goal, interception. There's actually six possessions. So I think Nebraska's <laughs> got it all figured out. They they don't need to step it up to compete with the Ohio States of the world. They just need to drag everybody down to their level yes. and then beat you with experience. Yeah, get them into the d the depths. Yeah, drag drown them, them to the depths and wait for them to drown. Yes. Uh, also, the replay official in that game should be investigated. Agreed. That was bullshit what happened in Nebraska at the end of the first half. But ball don't lie. They came back, scored a touchdown early. Yeah, but it, that also was very much a Nebraska. Like, you can just tell a team like Nebraska. And I do, do think Matt Rule's a good college football coach. Notice I said college football. Uh when a team like Nebraska has something like that happen to them, I, I even said it out loud. We were all watching. I was like, they're getting zero points here. Next play mm -hmm. interception. You know what I love about Matt Rule is that everywhere he goes, he makes the team that he joins design a smock for him to wear. Mm -hmm. It's like the smock follows him. He won't join your program unless you have a smock designer on point. There are a few of those guys. Like I'm sure that Chris would get the custom made sweatshirts yes. anywhere that he went. The Heather Gray sweatshirts. Yes. Um, the uh, the uh, John Dorsey. The GM now he's with the Lions. He was with the Chiefs and the Browns earlier. He had those same like we kind saw of him. gray sweatshirts that he he gets made especially for him everywhere he goes. And we saw him in Detroit, and he was the only one in the building rocking that sweatshirt. I think it goes even further than clothes. I think like if Dabo ended up somewhere else, he would be like, "Let's build a hill so I can run down first yeah. in front of everyone." Yeah, because it is about me. I've noticed it's that about the kids. Urban Meyer, he just spends everywhere he goes. There's some. College girls around him. There's some buttholes. Kind of wild. Ready to get fingered. Yeah, but college football's back. It's great to see all the games out there. Um, it's, it's, it, I don't really, I was thinking about it earlier today. Like, I love the NFL. The NFL is obviously the best sport in the world, but there's something about the chaotic, chaotic nature of college football that you can't expect. Like, what you're watching sometimes just isn't football. Like, mm -hmm. devolves into some other type of sport. Even that Nebraska play is a perfect example that it's just, it's so entertaining. It's so entertaining. Like NFL is like uh, you go in and you know it's going to be like a nine out of ten movie every single time. Uh -huh. College is like you could be watching a five out of ten, then it's an eleven out of ten. Well, some, out of nowhere. Sometimes the the like two out of ten games are the best in right. college football. Right. Yeah. Nebraska's touchdown that they had, uh, it was on a uh, like a, a pass back to their quarterback who then batted the ball forward in a touching tribute to their their volleyball team that filled the stadium Dude, with like ninety thousand. Shout people, out them. That was incredible. Was, it was awesome. 92,000 people. Yeah. 92,000 people who watch women's volleyball is awesome. Women's volleyball doesn't get enough credit. It's a fun sport to watch. It is. I it, Every time I watch it, I get fooled watching from like the camera angle. I'm like, no, jump in the air now. Right. There's like three people jumping to spike it. It's crazy. Yeah. It, it is a very fun sport to watch. That was very cool. First to see. televised broadcast I ever did. ACC Network Extra Women's Volleyball. Syracuse, Georgia Tech. Wow. wow. Okay. A little that blast was a fun from the past, fact Jake. there. Yeah. People put that, in, put that in your Jake trivia. Shout out Liberos. Shout out Liberos. They wear, they're the ones who wear the different color. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's oh, what they call yeah, them. Yeah. We like, don't want to get this deep. We just call them the volleyball. captains, yeah. <laughs> we did, we we complimented women's volleyball. We don't have to. We yeah. spent a lot of time talking about women's volleyball. Yes. And probably more time than baseball. <laughs> Dingers only. Uh, okay, so now that football's back, we have a couple presentations we're going to do today. Uh, we're going to Jake has new memes did this right memes did the new uh, memes and I collab okay so are you gonna be able to put this in the YouTube are we gonna be able to put this in the YouTube for the people how are we gonna be able to see this right now um I sent it to them I sent it to Evan it'll be in the YouTube okay but what about us just, right now I can just like okay all right put it right over. there yeah all right yeah we could put on the TV too let's do that yes put yeah, it on okay. the TV memes Jake joint yeah we can we can break and put it on the TV. Should I move over there, guys? Is that easier? Talking to that much. Most anticipated collaboration of all yeah, time. Work. Okay. A memes and Jake collab. Joint. I, I noticed that you just put by Jake Marsh, though. Well, yeah, that was. Okay, great. So <laughs> memes has been completely erased. From well, you're stream. part of this, too. Me? You're, uh, oh, well, see, I'm doing a quiz with, with Hank. Well, yeah, that's what I have as okay, part the, two of the, the presentation. Okay, the football math trivia. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is to get everyone ready for football season. It's very important for everyone to listen to. 
Um, I'm sure you nailed this uh, PowerPoint. <laughs> First, right off the bat, I like two things, Jake. One, you did part one, part two, part three in Roman numerals, yep. which is great. That's like football, mm -hmm. you know, Super Bowl stuff. And then you say all information courtesy of the NFL. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank, you for, sources. thank yeah. you for doing that. Okay. And Jake, make sure you explain each slide for the podcast listeners. Obviously, yes. we're going to put this on the YouTube as well. Yes. Okay. Here All right, we go. so starting with part one. How many one. sides are there, by the way? Um, I'm already bored. 22, but... Oh, of, my God. No, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> ten of, me now. Ten of them are just like, bang, bang, you guys guess. Oh, okay. they're probably, they're right, probably right, pictures. Right, yeah, right, yeah. Right, Jake, okay, you got to say okay. that they're pictures involved. Okay, okay. Yes. All right. Whew, 22. That was like when you like go, like a trainer works you out. And they're like, we're going we're gonna to do like eight different things, and then we're going to run a mile. It's like, well, I can't do this. You, you should have told us there were five slides, and then just kept on surprising us with more. There's only three parts. You got to understand. And you're one of them. Okay. Yeah. You keep saying that. It the, My my thing is very easy. Hank, uh, 14 plus three. 17. Two, yeah, but... two touchdowns in, a, in an extra point. What? Two touchdowns in an extra point. Two touchdowns in one extra point? Uh, two touchdowns in an extra point. 13. Okay. That was slow. That was very slow by you. You had to ask it twice. <laughs> Because his mind went to like, wait, is a touchdown worth seven? Yeah. 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 28 plus 14. 42. Okay. Oh, that was right. quick. See, I, Hank's getting better. I, All right, I, I, I have one. What, Hank, what is the difference between these two scores? 31 to 17. 14. Yeah, that's pretty nice. good. That's, that's, nice. In my opinion, that's the biggest 14-point lead in football. That's I never huge. said that. Are you guys going to sprinkle those trivia questions in throughout? Yeah, we'll just dedicated? do that. Yeah, okay. yeah. Four touchdowns, four extra points, three field goals. No. Come on. Four touchdowns, four extra points, three field goals. Four times six. Come on, Hank. 24. Why wouldn't you just do four times seven? Four touchdowns, <laughs> four extra points. 28. You're three uh, field goals. Yeah. 28, 37. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's hot. He's hot. Don't let the boy cook up. I thought right. we had this math conversation three all week. Three touchdowns. No. Two extra points, <laughs> one two point conversion, and a safety. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst podcast ever. Right. We didn't even get through one Jake slide. I was hoping that if we did enough math, Jake would just leave and we would have to do this. All right, here we go. We got the rule changes. Here. Yeah, I feel like so I'm back in school. Rule changes. Uh, the first rule change, instant replay reversal. Under two minutes, if something is reversed, the play clock is reset uh, to 40 instead of 25. That's when the guys are all going like this. Okay, yeah, doing the raise the roof one. thing. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, but there is a little like specific. Fuck that. Pass right. through it. Okay. Uh, also, uh, inside two minutes, if there is a reversal... Um, they will potentially do a 10 second runoff or ch charge a team timeout. I'm confused. Go to the next slide. All right. Uh, this <laughs> one's this one's actually good. Okay. If you fail all failed, this fourth is just down NFL. Yeah. Just a, all NFL. failed fourth down conversions are automatically reviewed like touchdowns. Oh, I like that. Oh, okay. That is good. Yeah, we would have known that exactly. But um, if it's successful and a team wants to review it being reversed you have to challenge that. right got okay. it on the failed defensive ones. side okay right. so and head coaches are prohibited from challenging a failed fourth down conversion right because it's automatically reviewed yeah got it so you don't got need it. to burn a challenge okay so i think that benefits everyone i actually really like that one. okay okay good good um, rule they want to clarify the use of the helmet the biggest thing i got um what was his background choice uh, it's band-aids band <laughs> <laughs> okay uh yeah, PowerPoint like auto generated some of them. I feel like this one fit because okay. of injuries. Um, the biggest thing with use to the helmet is helmet to helmet is obviously what we know, but you can get penalized for a helmet to any part of an opponent's body. Oh, so if geez. you look at this next slide, you see those two examples I pointed out. They're not technically helmet to helmet. But if you but use your helmet as a weapon. Correct. All right, so I, maybe uh, I'm naive here, Jake. Be but so we're probably going to see a lot more You might of these. be yeah. penalized every single play. You could find something that a defensive player does It could result all the in a time. bigger gray area. What about running backs? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Can't do it. Hank, the total is 50 and a half. Give me a, win a winning score for your over. 25-26. Nice. That's good. Good job. All right. Yeah. So we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, you guys are right. Like your helmet's used in almost every play. Yeah. So okay. This is going to be a disaster. How they call this. Yeah. Um, but it's just a point of emphasis for the season. Uh, tripping is now personal foul 15 yard penalty. I'm not exactly sure what it was before, but it wasn't this. So now it's even worse. Was okay. tripping 10 yards? It, it might have been, been 10, 10 yards before. It doesn't happen often, but okay. Yeah. The first thing that comes to mind is that Jets coach against the Dolphins. 
Oh, yes. on the sidelines? Yeah. yeah, well, old heads would know Mike Tomlin, although he didn't fully trip. Oh, he just yeah. stood in the way. He tried to trip. Kobe Jones? What about what about when Aaron Rodgers takes his teammates down to Costa Rica? Oh, I see what you did there. Nice. Tripping. Yeah. Uh, now you're tripping, Jake. Yeah. Jake's not familiar with that. No, he's not. No. Um, you guys have talked about this a little bit. Um, the New Jersey number categories. Uh, you may think, oh, Teddy Bridgewater – wore 50 preseason apparently you're allowed to wear whatever you want okay so regular season uh zero is obviously in play and a few other changes okay this this above. actually makes sense so linemen are 50 to 79 defensive linemen 50 to 79 90 to 99 they kept it i like this quarterback like wearing this. zero would be legendary i don't know if anyone unless is, you but suck they that have would the be option. really bad no but that that'd be badass a kicker wearing zero would be terrible worst running back number 47 that would be a pretty bad running back number. That mm. seems like fullback. That is, yeah. That yeah, yeah like but that's like back. H back, I think. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, and these are the last two rules of note that uh, I thought were important. Uh, if you're penalized on the last play of a half, the offense doesn't get the benefit of replaying the down. Okay. That's that's smart. Down. Yep. Okay. Um, that's lame. Well, yeah, but if Hail Marys. They're fun. And then lastly, I really think this is a good one. It's the Brock Purdy rule. Yeah. Teams will now be allowed to carry an emergency third quarterback on the active game day roster that's not part of the 53 man. That's why Nathan so that, Peterman got, got brought back. There's like, the, like the goalies so, in the stands. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, Hank. So, like the Patriots, for example, they and could e be doing this. E they only need to, need to have uh, Mac Jones on the 53 man and just have a game day quarterback yeah. as the backup. You guys got Matt Carell, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So and Malik might, Cunningham. So, yeah, so and Matt Blizzard. Corral, he might not have to be on the 53 man. He can just be the game day. Do the Patriots have too many guy. good quarterbacks? Some are asking. Yeah. Uh, so those are your rule changes. Of okay. Note. Thanks, right. Jake. Very cool. Good job. Thanks. Good job. I pretty had your part built in. Yeah, we did, we did my part. Hank passed the test. That was pretty cool, Jake. <laughs> know, it, was, it wasn't very cool. It was pretty Yeah, cool. I mean, it's rules. It can't be very cool. No, but it's good because I there's a couple there's nuggets a that you need yeah. to sound smart when someone's like, hey, why are they challenging this failed fourth down? Pretty much what they did was they gave the NFL refs the opportunity to throw a flag on any play that they want to throw a flag on right. for the helmet thing. Right. Okay. So just heads up. That's, that's major NFL rigged vibes right there. Hank, 27 plus 15. 42. I didn't know that one. Yeah, that was good. That, no, was, was, a hard that was a Swami score right <laughs> yeah. there. Hank, I think you're ready for NFL season. Fuck it. You are. It feels good. I'm excited. Three touchdowns, two extra points, and a field goal. Three touchdowns. There it is. He's ready. 57 He's ready. plus 24. 71. That's probably right. No. no. I think it's 81. 81. 81. 81. 81. That's a that's a big twelve. Man. That's, the that's not an NFL. Okay, good All job, right. Jake. Thanks. Now the third and final part of our presentation, we have ten guys. This was kind of spoiled by Jerry O'Connell. Yeah, earlier, we're Giants. Yeah, but we'll, Darren Waller for those listening. Tune in, Raiders. To, tune into Jerry's uh, fantasy preview. Darren yep. Waller is a very important piece yes. of his draft. Would strategy. you guys have known this before this morning? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. No, okay. It's, it gets yes. a little harder. Okay. Um, memes approved all of them. Okay. All right. Oh, that was nice. And I, I have cool animation. That was, that was uh, throwing memes under the bus just in case. Yeah, just in no, case. I, yeah, no, no, it was. Mo what? Memes approved all of them. In case you have an issue with it, yeah. this also went through memes. Mm -hmm. okay. And I noticed memes wasn't on the title card. Nope. The yeah, that should have been. Okay. That's uh -huh. on me. Mm -hmm. Miles Sanders. Miles Sanders is on Saints. the... Mm. No, I know this. Fuck. I don't know this. I'm going to guess... Is he on the Lions? No. No. Uh, they got Taylor Swift. Yeah, fuck. he's on the Panthers, Jake. Yeah, yes, there let's you go. go Panthers. All right. Okay. So you got PFT is two for two, leader in the club. Oh, we're doing scores. Thanks, Jake. No, thank. No, okay. Jake's right. All right. We, we don't have to. But. No, no, we we are. No, okay, no, it's fine. Allen Robinson, Saints. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with the Browns. Mm, Allen Robinson. Where is he? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Texans. Steelers. Steelers. Oh, didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Fuck. What? No, Jake, that's Allen Robinson, the second that yeah. you put up there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I now remember Jer Jersey Jerry being like, Allen Robinson's a beast. I was like, yeah, like four years ago. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Number four. 
Gardner Minshew. Colt. Yeah, he is a Colt. Yes, he is. Our favorite team. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Kicker, Brandon McManus. Yeah, count. He's on the Broncos should for a long count. time. I think um, it's the Saints. Yeah, New Orleans Saints. I think he's on the Saints. Player. Player. Tra- fitting. Trained from, yeah, Will Lutz. Yeah, fitting for a Jerry O'Connell episode that we talk kickers for fantasy perspective. He, no one takes a kicker to the last round. Except for just well, talking. he's the kicker of the Jaguars. Okay. So he might oh, be relevant okay. this season. Okay. They he's look to... Not on the Titans, that's okay. all I know. Okay. Yeah. They don't have Jarrett that. Stidham. We're failing this. Oh, he actually is on the Saints. Jared Stidham is? Yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 because I remember in, we were watching a... Uh... I don't think he is on the Saints, Hank. No. <laughs> you just <laughs> you just said that with such confidence. Wait, is he on the Texans? <laughs> no. Uh, Stidham is Texans? on... I think he's Broncos. on the Broncos. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's on the Broncos. Okay, cool. Okay, Jared Stidham's on the Broncos. Yeah. These are very hard. Sorry. No, that's okay. It was Meme's fault. No. You said that. Nelson Aguilar. Uh, shit, Jake. Come Didn't on. he just get Raiders? Did he just get signed like today? Let's South not view theme. this as a trivia. Let's just view it as informational. Uh, okay. Well, no, you started keeping score. Yeah, that not was stupid. The Bucks, Panthers. You're taking the. You're, I don't like this. Year. You're taking the competition. Not everyone gets a trophy. I think it's the Saints. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. What team is he on? He's a Raven. Oh, the, the Ravens just went and got every receiver this yeah. year, huh? All right, three more. Dalton Schultz. Uh, isn't he on the Bills? No, that's on Kincaid. Cardinals. Texans. Fuck. Texans, great. Mike Gesicki. Oh, he's uh I remember. No, I don't. We talked about in... this in the last episode, didn't we? <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, for him playing for <laughs> We're failing this so bad. Packers. Hank, he's your tight end. Oh, oh, there you go, man. <laughs> Huge. All right, last one. Running back Devin Singletary from the Bills to? Saints. <laughs> it's it's got to be the Saints. I'm just guessing Texans. Jake, I got it. Yeah. Uh, my strategy of guessing Texans for every player worked. <laughs> Jake, who won? I think me and Big Cat tied. I, yeah, I, I think, think we a, tied. Tie. Hank came wins. in last. The listeners um, lost. Yeah. And then the final <laughs> slide. Reminders for reminders coming up. Oh, this is big. Okay, read them all. So right now we have Remind Big Cat and PFT to take Patrick Mahomes to win the AFC West. Done. Should we take him? Okay, yeah, I'm going to do all it. All right, Patrick Mahomes, Chiefs to win the AFC West. And Heard then the following first. are all week one reminders. Uh, Colts haven't won in nine straight week ones. Okay. Fade That's the changing. Chargers in week one. Yep. Disregard all your week one reminders. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> PFT, don't believe in Carson Wentz if he starts. Okay. okay. Not, not an issue. That. And then uh, if a bad team is good after the first three weeks, just wait. Okay. Okay. But okay. also disregard, disregard all of them. Wouldn't that be a week three reminder? Yeah, disregard all of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just had it. Yeah. Okay. And thank you for your time. Okay. So great job. The, gra- the graphic on this last slide is is just the dimensions it's are all wrong. Stored it as possible. <laughs> stretched it out. Yes. <laughs> but yeah. There you have it's it. Show right. of the graphic. Thank you very much, Jake. Great job. Very cool, Jake. Thank you. Very guys. cool. Uh, okay, that felt good. I feel like we're ready to go. I'm back in foot. My body is ready for football. I know. It's so ready. It's so ready. I just uh, want football inside me. What else do we have? Uh, anything else that, of note that we need to talk about? There was that awesome porta potty fight. The chicks at the Morgan Wall. That was concert. pretty good. I saw the video and I was like, Morgan Wall in concert. Yeah, <laughs> you knew right off the bat. That was awesome. It was straight like. Monday Night Raw. I don't think there were any fights at the Taylor Swift concerts. No. Well, it was probably just passive aggressive, like bitchiness. Look, I think all of them had just broken up with their boyfriends. They yeah. were just all crying together. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, oh, shout out Alec Ingold. Yes. Alec Ingold got paid today on, you know, on a fullback sliding scale, but 17 million, not bad for a fullback. That's pretty damn good. Um, I also was saying, I we, we talked about Ronald Acuna the other day uh, because of the fans, and it dawned on me that 
Ronald's just a weird name. Ronnie. We just don't even think about it. Like, he's the best player in baseball. His name is Ronald. His name should be Ronnie. Ronnie Ronald. A. Ronald. Oh, and Cooper Cup got hurt again. Yep. God, the Rams are going to be the worst team in the league. I, I don't think they're going to be the worst. I, I yeah, actually I have a new proprietary betting strategy for this year. It's hot. Okay. Just fade the Cardinals. Paid the Cardinals. I don't believe their head coach. I don't I like believe. That. I don't pew, believe. Pew pew, 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 pew explosives. Explosives. He, he did like the fire up speech for the guys. You know how like Salah did the the uh, crow versus the eagle thing. Mm -hmm. His speech was just like looking around the room, being like, "Who here took the bus to get here? Well, you better light a fire if you don't have that fire, because we're here to do one thing, and that's win football games." Yeah. And I was like, "Fuck this guy." Yeah. I'm out. Yeah. He's. Uh, yeah, I, I like that. Car fade the Cardinals and the Rams. Yep. Big time. What, Set a what about they play each other? Because um, it happens tie, twice. Tie, twice. Okay. Tie, 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 tie. You tie. can get some juicy odds on ties. Yeah, you can. I also had one other Jake, thing. Jake, actually, can you remind us to bet ties when the Cardinals and Rams play each other? Thank you. I did a uh, meet and greet at Mariano's this morning for Stella Blue. It was great seeing people come by. One person asked me a question that I have to, that's just been in my head uh, the entire time. He said that he and his friends are having this debate. Jake, do you put deodorant on your socks? No. Okay. He explained it to me. He's like, I feel like Jake's a type of guy, like, when he goes out and golfs, like, we'll have, like, a deodorant stick for his socks to keep him not smelling I mean, sometimes bad. Sometimes I keep a stick in my golf bag. Okay, but yeah, he, when normal. he explained it to me, I was like, yeah, I think Jake does do that. And, okay. I've it's seen, been bugging me all day. I've seen old dudes, like, spray their shoes. Yeah. I don't know what's in those. Yeah, I don't know what's in those either. Because nothing works. Nothing works on feet. No. Either you got smelly feet or you don't. Yeah, feet. All right. G confirmed uh, not putting deodorant on your socks. That feels good, right, Jake? Get that out. Yeah, do okay. not. Okay, because yep. the rumor dispelled people were People memes. were buzzing about it. Yep. I'm raising my hand. You uh, do? No, 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 no. Oh. Uh, I, I have something. Oh, you're asking for <laughs> permission to talk. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm asking for permission. Permission granted. Memes the most awkward <laughs> interruption. <laughs> Uh, so as you were talking about Ronald Cuna, he, he hit a home run. Oh, oh wow. Whoa. Okay. That's Ronnie. Wild. Who's a whoa? That's Ronald. Wild. Whose team is he on? He's on mine. Oh, okay. So that's how you know. Um, <laughs> I have a, uh, you think. Yeah. So a story just came out two days ago that it turns out that the government of Qatar paid $300 million in bribes to the FIFA hosting committee. What? It just, you know what? When you think you know a guy like the Emir, he was a great host. I didn't think he would stoop to this level. This is crazy. I, I thought that the the World Cup that was hosted in a, in a country where it's 120 degrees in the summer, I thought that that was done on the up and up. But it turns out, uh, yeah, they they paid. This is actually a pretty sweet gig to be on on the board of FIFA, on the committee that decides where to put the World Cup. Yeah, there were 22 people that split 350 million dollars allegedly. That's awesome. Pretty cool. And I don't think it's against the law to bribe like a soccer organization, right? I, what, what laws could have maybe tax, who laws. Could have, tax laws but in terms of like if if you're, if they're not a government official that you're giving money to avoid right. persecution like right. you can bribe anybody right it, and it was like a whoa that's that's crazy moment for me to realize that bribing people is actually very legal to do yeah you just damn. can't do it to like a cop we should get we should try to get involved in the next world cup yeah we will host it yeah. in the new chicago office yeah Everyone, everyone get, I mean, we'll be done by 2028. Yeah. So we'll be good. Pete. Uh, oh, I had one last thing. Breaking moves. <laughs> Adam Schefter reported earlier today. Oh, that's not breaking moves. <laughs> TJ Hawkinson's uh, ear infection and back pain, which limited his practice at time this summer, feel much better today. Because he got paid. Yeah. So no more ear infection. That's good. I one think of the funniest breaking news is he's like, it, it it reads like uh, sending in a report to like your teacher for your kids. Like, yeah, he's feeling flu is gone. Feeling a lot better. He'll be back at school tomorrow. He spent all day getting fluids. Yeah. On the couch. So Watching he's good. Price is right. So, uh, yeah. Congrats to TJ Hawkinson <laughs> on his ear being good. Feels much better. That was what we love Schefter. We give him shit. That was 100 percent a text from an agent. I actually think that the way that he was trying to phrase it was like. All that money makes his ear feel, feel better. much better. I don't think it was yeah. him just being like, "Good news, T.J. Hawkinson's ear isn't leaking anymore." Feels much. Better. I think it was like money cures everything. Oh, he's being cute. He's being cute with I it. I don't like it when he gets. Cute. He got cute with it. Yeah, he's, he's a robot. He's, he needs to be a robot. But he's a cute robot. He is. He's a very cute. I want to just boop him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. With with the Hawkinson news, um, I get the vibe from a lot of Vikings fans that they're kind of 
halfway in, halfway out on that because they're pissed off about the ear infection thing. Yeah. They're like, he's probably going to ask us for another contract in the next year. But it's feeling much better. It's it's better now. Yeah, it's better now. The money, you just, you just dry it up, <laughs> dry up all the fluid in your ear with some money. It would be very funny if you sat out week one, though, with the ear infection. <laughs> ear infection. I don't think that would go well in the locker room. Uh, okay, let's get to our fantasy football preview with Jerry O'Connell. Always a blast. It is brought to you by our friends at Game Time, the exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. Created by fans for fans, Game Time is a ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts, and shows, and they guarantee the lowest price. I know the boys went to Lala. I've gone to some baseball games. We have college football coming up, NFL coming up, U.S. Opens going on. Uh, out in uh, in Flushing. So it's all possible with the Game Time app. The biggest last minute price drops can be found on the seats you thought you could never buy. <laughs> The purchase process takes just two taps, 10 seconds, and once you buy your tickets, they're delivered directly to your phone. No printer needed. The app also allows you to easily share tickets with friends via text so you can get into the game seamlessly. Skip the hassle. Enjoy the moment. Download the Game Time app or go to the website, enter your email, and redeem code PMT for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. So go right now, the exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. Download the Game Time app or go to the website, enter your email, and redeem code PMT for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Okay, here he is, Jerry O'Connell. Okay, we now welcome on one of our favorite guests in the entire world. This man, Jerry O'Connell. Yeah. Uh, I texted him last week and I said, Jerry, the people need JOC's fantasy preview as is tradition and i said can you do thursday uh at 10 30 via zoom and you just replied no i'll just fly out right. so jerry is such a uh beloved guest and such a good friend awl awl he took a red eye from california he then went to planet fitness to get a lift in and yeah. a quick shower right I had, I, I had to go number two. So. He had to go number two. Ten dollars a month. The, yeah, yeah the, that's it. Pretty, came, pretty good deal. So I joined there. You do came, for the free pizza. Came to the studio and is going to fly back to L.A. at four o'clock today. Uh, yeah. Now my first question is: Sure. Would you have done all this if you didn't make the Mount Rushmore of guests? Ah, uh, that's such a good question. Um, that was a real honor. I, I really have to say it was a real honor. I was listening last week to your show and uh, Tony Scheffler. Who did you have on? Tony Scheffler, yeah. yes. Tony Scheffler, and he was so offended that he wasn't on the Mount Rushmore. And I got to tell you, I was listening. I was uh, on uh, the stair machine at my PF, at my Planet Fitness. Um, <laughs> this is not, I'm not sponsored by them at all. I just like to work out there because it's so cheap. It's and, great. It's a good business model, too. It's like, don't work out too hard. Mm -hmm. So that way you keep coming back. Here's, no. here's pizza rolls while you work out. No, let me let me tell you really why I like, I can't believe we're plugging them so much. <laughs> I'm, they, I'm not sponsored in any way. But, I'm starting to think you are sponsored. No, I'm not. But that. I'm, I'm going to tell you why I'm not sponsored. Because Planet Fitness is, um, it's a little rough around the edges. Especially if you have to change or use locker rooms. Or like a lot of times you'll get on a bench at Planet Fitness. And a large man will come up and immediately go, Oh, how many, how many more you got? <laughs> how many more do you have? And it's just, it's very aggressive there. So you always have to be either lifting or acting like you're about to lift. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, Cause it's, uh, and I really think it, it helps me keep my edge working yeah. at Planet Fitness. It I'm does, ready yeah. for anything. So it's, yeah, it's kind of like prison. With a, with like a nicer with like better pads on the uh, on more the, colors on the Nautilus machine. Yeah. I was a member of a gym that is um uh, uh, w infinitely more expensive, outrageously expensive, and it rhymes with uh, Equinox. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> like I was fitness. like, why am I paying? What do I, I don't want a towel. Like I'm not gonna like towel myself. Like I'm not gonna use eight towels. This isn't worth it. I'd rather <laughs> just bring. My, you know, Snoopy towel in my bag, in my like duffel bag and do it Rocky style. You yeah. know, did, just, did, did Rocky use fresh towels? I don't no. think so. I not the one where he was training in a cabin, at least. I, I recently became a member of a gym where they they have like two bars that you have to walk past to get to the actual workout oh, machines. You mean that serve alcohol, yeah, not like alcohol. not like not like not like squat bars. No, I'm talking like alcohol. Like you have to you have to pass up alcohol yeah. and a full restaurant. Yeah. To get that's I mean it's a good business model though. Just make people think that they're yeah. that they're at a nightclub. I, I, I worked out at a gym where they had a smoothie bar and I'd always get a smoothie 
and say, oh, put some energy in there, um, put some creatine in there. And then uh, I got really fat working out there because I was like having a thousand calorie shake. <laughs> You're like Michael yeah. Phelps. And only burning off like 200 calories. You're walking uphill for 30 minutes and then, yeah. and then drinking a 3,000 calorie like, <laughs> That's smoothie not, yeah. Wait. So so it didn't work out, but I'm going to get back to the EWL, um, uh, back back to the Mount Rushmore. Yes. Um, it... Uh, it it really was a it it's it's a really high honor. I, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. No no joking, no shade. It really uh I, I've I, I've known you guys for years. I've been fans. I think what you do is um uh, just a lot of fun. I listen to you all the time, and I, I wanted to. I th uh, full disclosure. I thought I was coming to Chicago to see the new studios that you keep I talking about. I told you. I told you many times that we, it's not open yet, but yeah. we will. And this, see it. I walked in here, and I, I mean, no offense to you or to Barstool or to Business Pete, but <laughs> this is a shit. This yeah, is a no, shithole. It's, not, it's yeah. not great right now. I also should say because I want to hear this. Wait story. till someone upstairs takes a shit. Yeah, yeah no, I, you'll hear the flush. I warned Jerry that this is yeah. the only functional podcast studio I think in America with, that has toilet sound effects yes, built into it. Yes, you will. You'll hear that. So we were. You're such a good friend. You also came. We had a Stella Blue meet and greet at Mariano's. Yeah. This morning, you Mariano's came. is a grocer, a local grocer here in in Chicago. And Fancy. We, yep. And we now have Stella Blue in their uh, in their stores. So Jerry came by, and I want. I one story from Jerry there. He was true Jerry. He is the same off camera, on camera. One guy came up to us and he was like, hey, can you do a shout out for my basket, my intramural basketball team, Bricklayers sure. Nation? Yeah. And he was like, I want, we have an Instagram account. Can you do a shout out? So Jerry and I did a shout out for this guy. And as the guy was walking away, Jerry just said, make sure you tag me in that. So I was like, <laughs> this is Jerry. But you also started to tell a story that I said, stop, save it for the show. You were in a meeting and being an AWL, oh, you gotta helped you. This is so crazy. Uh, so there's a writer, there's an actor strike. All of Hollywood is striking. Another reason why I came is because um, I'm married to an actress, also supermodel, yeah. Rebecca Romaine. Uh, look it up. I've heard of her. Um, <laughs> and we're both on strike, so we're. Um, how do I say this? We're. I'm, I'm not having a Mitch McConnell moment. Scabs. Um, no, we're not scabs. No. We're not working, so we're uh, like to get, we have to be with each other all mm -hmm. the time. And my wife is very busy, works a lot, and now my wife isn't. And so I just I I when you said let's do the podcast, we can do it over Zoom. You can stay home. I was like, <laughs> you know, Mister Cat, please let me <laughs> get me out of here. Yeah. I have to come to Chicago. And like there was other family members in front of me. And Big Cat was like, um, no, 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 you can just Zoom. And I was like, no, 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 you need me <laughs> in Chicago to come to the it's temporary shithole huh? offices yeah. of Barstool. Um, yeah, I, I just had to get the fuck out of there. I really did. It's um, it's crazy. It's like the pandemic all over again. Love my unions. Love SAG. Love WGA. Union Strong. We stand with you. But uh, We are going to take your voice from this interview and just AI it. And then we can interview AI Jerry. We, <laughs> we never have to have you on again. Yeah. yeah. But what was the story you were going to tell me? Um, oh, yeah. So I, um, it, it's been like a strike and I haven't um, been drawing a salary. Um, I haven't been getting paid. No one has been. It's uh, We're union strong, right? And um, my agent called me, which rarely happens, uh, especially these days, and said, um, uh, the president of this company wants to meet with you. And it's a big company. I'm not going to say because it's a company it's a real company and uh, <laughs> it sounds real yeah no it it, it, it is <laughs> i i swear i'll i'll tell you i'll i'll tell you off mike i, I just don't want to put him on blast because yeah, yeah. he's like a boss and i don't of a company get a real yeah. company. a real company a very real company. is it is it elon <laughs> did elon want some facetime it's an no, insanely no, no, real no, company no. you wouldn't you'd be shocked how real it's this an, company is. it's an entertainment company okay. it's like it's 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 a real company okay and um <laughs> I thought my agents made a mistake. You know, typically they call me. They're like, "Hey, um, uh, hey, uh, Ryan Reynolds uh, dropped out of this uh, Stella Blue thing at uh, uh, Mariano's. Can you like pop in there? We said Jerry's good for it. Um, it's it, it, no one cold. No one cold calls me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I was like, they said, "Are you available?" And I was like, "Yeah, fuck yeah, get me out of get me out of here. Yes, I'm available." So I, you know. Uh, 
got a blowout. I went to this meeting, walk into the meeting, waiting in the waiting room, meet the president, the boss, um, get a fancy water, sit down, comes in the room. Hey, I'm expecting he's going to say, I got the show. I've got this thing. I really want to attach you to it. I've had my eye on you all these years, you know, ever since Kangaroo Jack, I knew it was you. <laughs> and here we are. And I, uh, I'm sitting in there and he sits down and he says, hey, um, I called you in here because I'm an AWL. <laughs> and I have so many questions about, <laughs> about PMT. And we talked about PMT for, I, I mean, it was supposed to be a half hour meeting. It ended up being close to two hours. Um, and it's funny. At, at first I was a little like, oh shit, I thought my talent... <laughs> Yeah, got me in this room, but no, it's just been it's been you guys really. Well, so, so I did want to say thank you, and also like getting back to the whole thing about you know um, being a, 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 a Mount Rushmore guest. It really has had a very positive effect on my life. It's pretty cool to hear that Bob Iger's that big of a fan. <laughs> I was uh, I, that's awesome. Did he ask awesome. you any fantasy football questions? <laughs> um. You know what? Uh, this particular guy, I don't think I'll get in trouble for saying this, is a huge um, Eagles fan. Oh. So, uh, Does he um, want to advertise on the show? Did you try to sell some ads? Uh, I, I, I I didn't sell some ads. I mean, I realize you guys are ad-based now that uh, the gaming stuff is not there uh -huh. now. But, uh -huh. uh, I, I, I mean, I'll be on the lookout now. I uh, I did sell some coffee today. So, you um, did. I watched that happen. To go to a local grocer and sold some coffee. So yeah, no, I'm 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 willing to help so, with some ad ad revenue. When Penn owned us, we were not allowed to do. Um, I mean, we could do mostly anything, but obviously you can't tie in sex and alcohol and drug use. Huh. And those were Jerry's big three that he would always bring oh, up yeah. when he was talking about gambling. We had to cut so all we had to of cut his interviews. All of yeah. If you thought that Jerry was a great guest before, yeah. now you're getting uncut Jerry O'Connell. I was so bummed that whole fisting, I went on for like an hour about <laughs> yeah. that fisting thing. Yeah. And then I listened to the show and it was gone. Yeah, yeah, Jerry and his buddies, every year they have a fisting fantasy football league yeah. where the loser gets fisted by the other 11. Yeah, guys. and you just like cut it out. Yeah. Um, so... Uh, well, I can like save that story for for this episode. Yeah, for yeah. this episode, We're, we are glad to have you, Jerry. We do we do miss you when you're not around. Um, I I feel like we know so much about you because you've been on the show a lot. But before you came in, I looked up uh, Jerry O'Connell trivia oh. on the way in. Oh, okay. this is gonna be good. And so I was wondering if you would like to play some Jerry O'Connell trivia about yourself. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, who was your across the street neighbor when you lived in Chelsea? Oh, um. Uh, um, inconceivable Wallace Shawn. Yep, there yeah. you go. <laughs> inconceivable. Remember yeah. Princess Bride? Yes. yes. Um, uh, that guy lived across the street from the apartment that I grew up in, uh, the street I grew up on. And um, as kids, uh, we were we were really cool with him. We didn't like blow him up or anything. Every time we saw him, we would yell, "Inconceivable! Inconceivable!" And I'm sure, he, he loves was, that. He was into it. He was into it. I could tell. He was like. <laughs> Oh man, that's so cool that I'm I've been acting my entire life and I'm known as the inconceivable guy. You got your kids yelling you, at me. You know that guy actually he lived upstairs from me when I lived in Charlottesville for like a year. Wallace that's crazy. Shaw. We're neighbor buddies. We're Eskimo neighbors. Is he still neighbors. alive? <laughs> Eskimo yeah. neighbors. Uh yeah, I believe he's still alive. Yeah. <laughs> we'll check that. Inconceivable. He's still alive. <laughs> okay. I'll check that. I'll double check that. Uh, uh, what were you ranked at your highest when you were a college fencer? Seventeenth. 17th in the nation? In the nation, nationally. Hell yeah. That, that's pretty good. Yeah. You know, it was a big bummer. I missed uh, top 10, which makes you all American, and still it uh, hurts a little bit. It hurts. Well, yeah. Sean's still alive. Okay, great. Yeah, huge, I told you. Huge. Um, so your daughter is a Cowboys fan? Is that true? How have we not talked about this yet? How did that you happen? You know, um, my, my daughters, I was really trying to when they were younger, when they were like... Um, Mr. Cat's kids' ages. I, I was trying to get them into the NFL because uh, I, I've talked about it on the show before. It's such a struggle watching football in my house. Um, it is uh, someone I live with hates professional football, and it's uh, very difficult because Sundays are typically family days. Mm -hmm. And I've said before, I only get two quarters of football a week. And um, I'm hoping now that, you know, we're on strike and we're all home together. I can maybe get 
two and a half, maybe three quarters of football mm-hmm. this this season. Which you are, by the way, we'll say this right now. When we do open the new office, we're going to find a Sunday that Jerry is going to watch all the games with us. Oh, man. And do a show with us afterwards. Literally. You're going to do Bermans with us. You're going to do everything. It's like my, oh, man. It's like my wake. It's like my make a wish. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It, it literally is like my 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 make a wish. It's, it's going to be Jerry's special day. Um, It's, uh, I, I, I just, I, I still can't believe you guys get paid to basically watch football all day Sunday and then talk about it for 16 17 weeks it's yeah. just it's it's just a dream um that said you know another reason why i wanted to come here getting back to originally why i wanted to fly out um it, it's a it's a big move that you guys made and i uh, i was interested in it i work in media and in showbiz and you got to be in new york or in la and you guys actively moved here and i i'm intrigued by it i i i i I, I was intrigued by it i once you see the space the new office which we might even i might even drive you down there and we can we can take a look at it after this but um let me ask you all with with interviews is it uh over zoom is does something get lost yes or for a first time guest usually first time guest. if it's somebody like you that we've had on before right and then you want to zoom in from your planet fitness while you're getting your sets in i think that's what you did Last yeah, year, yeah, last I did. Year? Yeah, I went in there. That's fine. That's good. Yeah. We like Wi-Fi is not that great at Planet Fitness. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people use it to upload and download stuff. Uh, so it's just a very spotty Wi-Fi. But, yeah. but PFT is right. If it's someone we know and they have a good connection, I don't think anything gets lost. Like we had Dan Patrick, which we're going to run next week. Mm-hmm. It was a phenomenal interview. Yeah, because he had great wi-fi sure he was in his studio he's in his studio we know him. Yeah, not a planet fitness yeah mm-hmm. we know him we have rapport with him so those type of guests like some of our favorite guests are guests that we have on via zoom and they always deliver um and it's funny i i, I was um i was just in minneapolis last week and um it's funny sports are different um Sports are different when you're not on the coasts, you mm-hmm. know? And mm-hmm. and listen, I'm from New York. I'm a huge New York fan. Like, we love our sports, you know? Um, but it's... Uh, See, that's toilet. See the flushing? Yeah. Somebody just took a shit. Oh, my God. I can't <laughs> believe it. That... It was definitely that young lady who I just met. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding because you have to take a key. And I, I went to the restroom. Mm-hmm. I offered young you lady, my sink. Yeah, I'm not going to the restroom in a sink. I offered you my at, sink. At work, especially like where there's like live like twitches going on all the time. Like the last thing I need is like <laughs> me getting like j- like jaked and like everyone seeing my thing in high school. Um, uh, yeah, it was definitely that young lady who I met yeah, out there. Yeah, probably. I, I won't say her name because I saw her like uh, w- wait, eyeing the key. God, that's so embarrassing. Yeah. yeah. You could she tell. She a big one too. That was number two. You can hear the turds hitting the side <laughs> of the pipe. Yeah. <laughs> that was really crazy. God, I, I lost my train of thought. Um, That really threw me. Um, uh, well, uh, I, I'll pick up where you were kind of going. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and we'll start the, the fantasy preview. How are you feeling about the Jets this year? It's a big year. Um, You know what's funny? I've been watching Hard Knocks, and it's funny. When I started to watch Hard Knocks, I was sort of not into it. Um, First of all, I wasn't into it because, fuck, that. That's another <laughs> toilet. <laughs> <laughs> that was a double flush. That was the second flush. Yeah, same, person. Was, yeah, same person. Uh, how, 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 how. How does Business Pete have a job? I, it's it's <laughs> great. I mean, I can't believe you complained about street noise. Yeah. For all those years, seven years, and yeah. now this is sh- this is actual shit. Yeah. This is like shit yes. noise. It's not even like, oh, the pipes make noise. It's like the shit. Yeah, he tests he, us. He's testing. He's us. doing this on purpose. Yeah. Why would you have a studio where shit is? Moving. I don't. It's a good question. Yeah, this is. Uh, we're playing podcasting on expert mode right now. Mm-hmm. They're just. They're turning up the difficulty. Yeah. All right. I was gonna talk about hard knocks. Fuck. It's so tough to. I just got off a red eye. Oh, okay. Um. Uh. I had some issues with hard knocks. First of all, <laughs> is this a, is someone flushing that on purpose? Yeah. Is that chick? Did she just have a triple flusher? <laughs> You you know who I'm talking about, right? Don't don't say anyone's name because that's like yeah. HR stuff. But like, she had we a triple don't have flusher HR anymore. Um, oh God. HR is a HR is Hank. Great. Um, <laughs> um, uh, that first speech that Robert Sala had, um, 
you know, that's the that's the opening to Hard Knocks. And so Robert Sala comes out, good looking guy, and he says, uh, let me tell you something about Eagles. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, God, he's making an Eagles reference? Like, I don't know if that's really appropriate. Let me, let me tell you something about Eagles. When they get attacked by crows, and I was like, oh, fuck, the Jets are the crows. Yes. The Jets are just going to fucking peck the Eagles, and we're just going to keep pecking, and the Jets are going to just keep pecking till they're at the fucking Super Bowl. And he was like, an eagle flies up, and the crow dies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's get out there. And I was like, God, this like, remember Dan Campbell's speech yes. about dragging people out to the ocean? Yes. And we're going to fucking drown them. Oh. And he had a, he had a, he had a chaw in and he yep. was like, we're going to fucking drown them. And we're going to pull them out there. And then when they come up for air, we're going to pull them back down. And that's what we're going to do to every team. We're going to fucking drown them until their bodies are lifeless. Okay, let's go. Like, it was just so unmotivational and it really made me worried about the jazz yeah <laughs> actually it, it was something that like billy football would come up with as an animal fact at the end of a show it's no, like billy football would have been more motivational i think sorry well, but the, the crazy thing is you're right like the eagle should not be the the eagle's not the underdog in the story you're telling a story about a crow versus an eagle and an eagle wins that fight 10 times out of 10 but the eagle strategy is to fly up until the crow suffocates it doesn't even defeat the the crow the lack of oxygen defeats the crow, and then they fall. I think we're crows in that metaphor. Yeah, we're all crows saying, in life. We're crows. Yeah, we're crows. Yes. We're all crows. We've uh, just had fucking hardships. We'll never be eagles. We don't have <laughs> rich parents. We don't. We, we, no one is an eagle. What, yeah. what, what? What is that analogy he's making? I can't believe. Also, I mean, now I'm starting to wake up a little bit. I got some Stella Blue in me. Fucking Nathaniel Hackett. Man. Oh yeah. It's. I, I'll. I'll tell you what it is. I'm gonna make an analogy as an actor. Okay. As an actor, um, sometimes big stars, okay, um, when getting a director for a movie, say, hey, hire that director, That I like that director, like he does what I tell him to do, okay? Um, and the problem is you don't get a director who comes in and goes, hey, Tom, um, I don't know, I think we should play this with a little more emotion. And, you know... Tom is like, uh, no, I'm going to play it how I'm playing it. Just go back to the monitor and let me act. Uh, like, you need someone who is a superior who said, who's critical. Right. Because it makes you better. Right. And the way it looks to me is that, uh, 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 that Aaron Rodgers, and this may not be a bad thing. Maybe it'll be a good thing, you know? Maybe you do want a guy like Aaron Rodgers running an offense, is just basically Nathaniel Hackett is is there for Aaron Rodgers. He's emotional support coach. Yeah. It, it's just having a buddy there who, by the way, is, I'm sorry, not not like everyone's like, oh, he's fucking so funny. He's well, so I, funny. He, I think he is. Nice guy. I, I know he was Aaron on your Rogers. show and nice I guy. understand no, that. I've but never like, said a bad word. But I know, but like showing like gold, like gold member. He's like, very into gold member. Very, yeah. That's yeah. his like, like favorite film of all time. Yeah. I mean, I guess the gold zone was kind of cool, but yeah, like, but he's uh, Nathaniel Hackett's. Uh, I mean, could you imagine really if I just spoke in like yeah. Austin Powers like scenes? Like if I just came on your show and I was like, <laughs> "Alrighty then," <laughs> <laughs> you'd be like, "Get this fucking guy out of here!" Yeah. Wait, was that Austin Powers? <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, gambling. No. If I just came in here and I was like, "Gambling is illegal at Bushwood, sir," and I never slice. <laughs> <laughs> That's Caddyshack. Yeah, um, but I mean, it's just <laughs> you know, you know, Austin Powers was he was British. Yeah, baby. Yeah, there yeah, we go. There that's, it it, that's the one. There it is. Um, so I was a little worried about that, and um, you know, it was funny. I, I, I do want to say. Sounds like you're jealous of Mike Myers. That's what it sounds like to me. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, an, 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 another thing about um Hard Knocks that um, uh, I, I, it, it took a little bit of um convincing of me is that typically hard knocks is about the crows the people who are trying to get on the team the people who are struggling to get on the team the people who um i mean remember how good um man i think it was uh, uh giovanni bernard mm -hmm. uh when he was like uh honda honda odyssey got everything you need mm -hmm. remember he was pulling up in a in yes. a honda odyssey and it was like so fucking great and it was a, honda odyssey's got everything you need i got a cd player i got like everything you know and this was the aaron show and at first it like i, I wasn't used to it but you know what i will say um 
I, I do think Aaron Rodgers is a real star, and I do find him magnetic, and uh, I do like watching him. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think he, he came across way better than a lot of people thought because – for the longest time in Green Bay, he you know he only gave interviews to select people that he would yeah. like handpick, and he developed a reputation for kind of being like an asshole, right? Yeah. And then we see him on Hard Knocks, and it's like, this is a guy that I might want to hang out with. Yeah. He seems friendly. People seem to like him. Oh man, I got to tell you, in that first episode when he was saying to Zach Wilson and uh, I don't know his first name Boyle, when he was like Tim, every day we're gonna go out, we're gonna make friends with someone on another team, we're gonna go make, we're gonna introduce ourselves to someone in the defense because we're leaders and that's what we do. I was really, uh, I was inspired by that. I was like, wow, look at mm -hmm. him. He's, uh, he's, uh, so so he's he's a lot of fun to watch. I, I, I still think they're only gonna win eight games. Sorry, folks. Oh, man. Not, I know. Is this you reverse jinxing him, Jerry? Feels I'm like not reverse it. jinxing him. Are you them. afraid to believe? No, I just. Like, listen, me and Big Cat are, are fans of just disastrous franchises. We're used to not having expectations, and we're we would be afraid to have expectations. So we know where you're coming yeah, from. Yeah, I'm a Jets, Jets fan. fan. I've seen this. I've, uh, I've but it's okay I've to believe. Brett Favre, just, you just know, don't believe so hard that then you turn around and you're like, I feel bad for you guys, like Billy did to us last year when the Jets won. Like you five should games. believe. You should believe. You get believe as a Jets fan. You get maybe one of these seasons every ten years where you're allowed to be like, I think that we can do something magical, I, and I, I want you to. I want you to allow yourself. To really explore that part of your brain, and yes. to really lean into it. I'm I'm right now in a very emotionally vulnerable spot with Justin Fields because yeah. I all the way believe, right? And I know deep down there's a chance that something doesn't right. go well, and then I'll be crushed. Right. But it's the belief is fun. Right. Well, we're going to talk about Justin Fields. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. So let's. Yeah. You got. Ready? You got your your suitcase. Yeah. So this is all you brought on the plane. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get down to business. What's in it? Ritz crackers? Uh, no, I have the uh, uh, oh, Zimpic. You got Tylenol. your Zimpic there? I don't know. I think it's Tylenol. I'll be up on the plane. You're um, hardcore, Jerry. Oh, check out these shorts. Yeah. Oh, I like that. What are the What are those? Your Oh, uh, these are my Louis Vuitton Yankee shorts that uh, <laughs> smell a little bit like the Planet Fitness locker room. Okay. Here we are. Um, a great yeah. briefcase. <laughs> this, is, this is what he brought to work today. Well, I yeah. love it. I yeah. told my wife I was going to do some business. And <laughs> yeah. brought my I only need one pair of shorts. Jerry's getting on board a plane carrying an old school briefcase. Everyone's like, that guy's about to go close yeah. some deals. Look at him. <laughs> it accidentally opens up his New York Yankees underwear fallout. Yeah. Whoops. And a sheet with like the entire NFL crossed off. <laughs> <laughs> People will um, draft. Oh, first of all, um, about our league. Yeah. Uh, I'm a little concerned about it. I've done like sort of a desperate thing that you're not supposed to do. It's like uh, I've been sending requests to the manager saying, hey, when are we starting this thing up again? <laughs> okay. And it's just so lame because it's like it's like texting someone who like a girl who hasn't talked to you in like years like, hey. You're... Yeah. So, Jerry, about, are you? about that, um, I checked the uh, the group chat that we were on last year. Um, I would muted it accident oh yeah well actually on purpose no because yeah because it, it was so annoying it yeah. was annoying when they were trying to steal yeah steal josh allen's points away sure, from sure, us sure. last year yeah. um it looks like we might have been kicked out because i was not replying to the text but i replied oh, no. to, but oh no but i replied this morning they said uh yeah we're looking for jerry which who's jerry is it jerry from entourage what different no. different jerry Kangaroo Jack Jerry is what CJ McCollum said. So yeah. <laughs> you're Kangaroo Jack Jerry. Okay. And I said, wait, shit, I just saw this. This is PFT. Are we officially out? We want in. You know, I've been in a lot of other. You should tell him I've been in like Stand By Me. When you're uh, so I'm fat, in a syndicate. Though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was I, I did not. husky. No, you're, you're <laughs> I, I, I was. Um, I, I, I was in. I'm in a syndicated show, Pictionary. That's syndicated. They don't know that one. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, you I, don't I, watch what happens live I, with Andy. Yeah, Cohen? I, I host a daytime show on CBS. I'm going to say yes, the, Kangaroo Jack Jerry. Hey, oh, what do you fuck. think, by the way? Uh, or go ahead, keep going, PFT. But sorry. but so this is important. Right now, I just got this text back. Um, Julius Randall is trying to sign up in our spot, so we just have to beat Julius Randall into logging in, and then we're in. So I'm going to do that right now. Uh, I'm not going to make a Julius Randle joke. Jer Jerry, <laughs> while he signs up, quick sidebar. Yeah. Real Housewives of New York, new cast. Eh. Um, I'm, uh, I, I heard you talking about it. I, uh, I, I, I like the classics. Yeah, so do I. I miss I think Sonia. It's, yeah, but it's funny. There, there has to be a new generation, you know? Yeah. I mean, you can't just have Tom Brady coming out 
every season. Oh, by the way, here's a question. You, I, I read somewhere that Tom Brady's maybe going to jump in when uh, when Brock Purdy goes down. Is there, yes. any, well, is there no, any truth actually, to that? Actually, yes. no, Jerry, this is exclusive. What, what's happening, we're told, is that you know the, the Patriots only have one quarterback on their active roster, Mac Jones. Yeah. They're doing that because Tom Brady wants to come back, sign a one-day contract, retire as a Patriot, but I'm told that one day contract, once once Tom gets in the building again, he's going to fall in love with the Patriot way all over again, and then he's going to play next year for the New England Patriots. That's what me and Hank have heard. Hmm. Do your job. Yeah. Well, he doesn't have to worry about the misses uh, getting mad at him for uh, That's very true. coming very out to Chicago true. to do Barstool for a day, does he? Okay, so we're back in. We just <laughs> logged in, so we beat Julius Randle. We're in. We're in. We're in the fantasy football league. Oh, this is so exciting. All right. Jerry, the the draft is uh, September 3rd at noon. Okay. Now, um, I don't know who's in charge of this, if it's it's Jake or Business Pete, but just (laughs) make sure I have the passcode because if you recall, two years ago, I went to a Kinko's to log in so I could have my my one website running and they have good Wi-Fi. Uh, just like Dan Patrick, and um, I, I just I need I couldn't get in, so we had to auto draft, and then we ended up coming in fourth that season. And I, I prayers really for Demar. Sorry, prayers for Demar. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah, that was uh, that was when we came in second. But here, let me just go through this. I'm going to take it from division by division. I okay? love it. Okay. All right, okay. AFC East. Let's mm-hmm. start there. First okay. of all, I'm really. I'm really excited about the AFC this year. It's just it it's so funny. It seems like Patrick Mahomes has set the bar and everyone is chasing him now. Mm-hmm. And from a fantasy standpoint, it's it's an offensive a toilet. That's a toilet. Again. Sorry, you got to you got to you block out the noise. I think that's the this same like girl. A, is it a away game? I think that girl I think she has she's eating like that kashi cereal or whatever <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. Bad. This is bad. I saw you telling someone gummy that bears. at the grocery store. You're like, don't get this. You'll just shit your brains out. The guy was like, I'm just trying to get cereal, dude. <laughs> um, um, uh, I think the AFC is going to be an offensive juggernaut, and I think that really comes from Patrick Mahomes and everyone chasing him. Um, so let's start with the Bills in the AFC East. Okay. Um, you can draft any Bill, all wow. of them, every single one, except their tight ends. Uh, I... Uh, Dawson, Dawson Knox, Knox and Dalton, Dalton Kincaid. Kincaid. Yep. First of all, those names are so annoying. It sounds like yeah. children of like this is Dawson and Dalton. <laughs> they're so they are they're like it's like it's just like kids that have to get dressed up on the weekends and it's just Instagram kids. Dawson and Dalton. <laughs> they're so smart. Dawson and Dalton, you put that down right now. <laughs> um, but I think they're going to offset each other. So uh I was a Dawson Knox fan last season. Not this season, but I think James Cook is gonna oh yeah. is gonna cook. Um, I I think he's a a real value. Uh, he's been going in the fourth, fifth rounds, and um, I think he's gonna get a lot of touches. Yeah, he's playing twice a year against his brother now. That's gonna be fun. Um, yeah, that's right. I didn't even realize. Uh, of course, duh. Um, and by the way, I think their names are um, uh, um, uh, it's James, um, Dalvin Cook, and then. Dalvin James Cook. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Uh-huh. It, it, uh, am I am I am I correct in saying that? That's correct. That's correct. That Jake was, said that was correct. Thank you. Jeff. Um, the Jets. <laughs> I'm not drafting anyone on the Jets. Ooh. Garrett Wilson. You know what? I fully bought in Garrett Wilson just ba- uh, based on a hundred percent. You know, it's going to go. It's it's it's. I'm going to have a theory this year with our fantasy team, and if you're upset about this, let me know now because you guys are doing the buy-in. So. This is your team. You're the owners, okay? You're the Jerry Jones. You tell me what to do. Uh-huh. I work for you. And your grandson, I work for your grandson, too. I work for the whole Jones family. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, that said, um, I, 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 I just think that... I just don't think that there's, there's going to be any Jets. I just... I, 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, good reasoning. I just don't think it's happening. I just... I. I think we have to go two RBs, one and two. Okay. 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 We're then going to reach for in round three. I like you're already conceding yeah. a reach. <laughs> yeah. You don't know how it's going to play out, but we're we'll, reaching. We'll reach. It'll yeah. be a reach. It's going to be a reach. because I'll give I, you a reach pick in round three. We're going to have to reach it in, in round three for Justin Fields. Oh. I have a feeling he's going to be. He's going to be the Jalen Hurts of this season. Okay. okay. And we have to ensure that we get him 
and that's so a reach. third round. Third round. Now, people are screaming right now. They're ripping their Bluetooth headsets out on their elliptical machines. But I found in a lot of live mock drafts that I've done that um, he can sometimes go early in the fourth round. Mm -hmm. And if you don't take him by the third, you're not guaranteeing that you're getting him. Okay. okay. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm down. If you believe in somebody yeah. that strong. You now, just, you know what you're doing right now. no matter what. You're standing on the table. Yeah. I'm standing on the you're table. Yeah. I've never seen this in real life. You're standing on the table. Now, for all that Fields. said, here's where it gets a little weird and where people are going to get upset with me is that I think there are a lot of wide receivers in rounds six, seven, eight, and nine that you can get. A lot of wide receiver ones. Now, everyone's very upset. You should be getting Garrett Wilson. You should be getting Justin Jefferson. You should be getting these guys. It's a PPR league, blah, 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 blah. I, I, I just think with running backs these days, if you don't draft them in the first two rounds, it's like, get okay, nothing. so you yeah. get Alexander Madison. Okay, okay uh, good luck. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Dalvin Cook, who's going late. All right, good luck. You know, I just, I'm old school. I think you need a couple running backs up top. What do you think about Jonathan Taylor? Would you draft him? I would not. I don't think he's going to play this season. At okay. all? Yeah. Okay. I don't. I don't think he's going to play. Uh, by the way, I, I think Josh Jacobs, who held out for a while, I think he might be a deal because he's going sort of like, later because he held out for so long but i just guys have held out that long you know i mean a little I, rust I, yeah and also you have to watch raiders games like yeah, yeah. good point no. good. you know it's a very, that's actually the mm -hmm. best point you've made um okay so no jets um no jets uh miami staying in the afc east um nobody on the dolphins <laughs> okay <Yeah. laughs> this seems i was with you for the first Part, but the Dolphins do have some good players. A hundred percent. Look, um, obviously Tyreek Hill. If you're going to take a wide receiver in the first round, but this is not going with our. Right. We're really right, right, targeting right. Justin Fields round right. three. We're building the draft around this. And Jerry, is there any concern that you've laid out the entire draft strategy and and there might be somebody in the league that's listening? Um, I know a lot of people say, uh, no, I'm not worried about anyone in the league listening. They thought I was. They thought I was the guy from Entourage. They're not. <laughs> yeah, they true. have no idea who I am or anything well I there is another fine. jerry in there it's it's uh it's turtle um yeah uh, jerry from entourage i'm ken grew jack jerry um yeah no no dolphins i i think their wide receivers are too expensive and uh, i mean mostert uh, it's not cutting the mostert it's not like he's not i you know i do think um actually uh either kareem hunt will end up th there in in Miami, I just uh, I just don't think that uh, uh, their running game can can sustain just Mostert. You know? Okay, okay. Um, Patriots, Hank, you ready for this? Oh yeah. Nobody, no what? Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. No juju. <laughs> no juju. So we only have the Bills. In the AFC, in the AFC East. East. Yes, okay. Only okay. the Bills. Okay. And no Patriots. I'm sorry. I, You know, I got to tell you, you know what really annoyed me last season was um, your quarterback, knowing he's being filmed, like, screaming, like, just let me fucking throw the ball. Let me fucking throw the ball, man. I want to fucking throw the ball. And it's like, hey, Mac Jones, just chill out, man. It's just, passion. It's I, you. I, it's like you want to act right now. <laughs> let's let you act. <laughs> yeah, but you'll never see me on camera going, let me fucking act, man. <laughs> so let me fucking say some lines and fucking hit my marks, man. Let me fucking do this. Why won't they let me? Like, it, it, it just, oh, you know what, Hank? You're going to get your shot. You're going to get to see Mac Jones fucking throw that ball. I'm excited. You're mm -hmm. going to get to see it. <laughs> I... Won't be watching. Uh, let's head over to the AFC North. Um, the Ravens. Yeah. No Ravens. Okay. No. okay. All right. None. Uh, Andrews is too expensive these days. So, oh, you know what? Zay Flowers. I talked to you about my wide receiver strategy, six, seventh, and eighth rounds. Zay Flowers, I think, okay, is going to so happen. Okay, so Zay, maybe a Zay Flowers is okay. No Odell? Uh, sorry? No Odell? No Odell. Uh, no Odell. Okay. I think uh he's old. I think he is older. Yeah. Um also I'm not that uh I don't know what kind of what kind let me ask you. You're the owners of the team. What kind of year do you think Lamar's going to have? Very good. I think Lamar is um Lamar's still really good at playing quarterback. Last year was 
it was interesting at the end of the season when the contract stuff was breaking down. Right. And so he kind of just he for the first time I ever saw Lamar like not want to compete. That's a little weird. I'm yeah. I'm you very would think, high. You yeah. would think that 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 like a great quarterback would be like, you know what, the contract stuff is one thing, but at the end of the day, I want to win a playoff game. Well, it's not even that. I mean, I think that players have to say this is going to be a reflection of my career. These are right. numbies that I'm putting up for my career in yeah. my prime. Need the numbies. And um, you know, I didn't have Lamar on any teams last year, but a friend of mine did, and um, it was really upsetting. It was frustrating, you know, and um, it was uh, it was self inflicted. Yeah, it was, uh, and I'm sorry. There's there's no room. For that on our team, he does also have some butt issues. Mm -hmm. If you've noticed over the last couple of seasons, he'll miss like right. I know he three, went three practices a week. Two. Yeah, well, he he would miss practice too because he was like, no, I have diarrhea. He was probably eating that kashi. Yeah, he but. shits more than the woman out there. <laughs> yeah. I'm high on the OC for the Ravens, Todd Munkin. Okay, he's, okay, he's. I think they're gonna have a very good year. All right, we can revisit that. Um, we're gonna get back to Jerry O'Connell in a second. He's brought to you by the Farmer's Dog. The results of switching your dog's food from kibble to fresh can seem like magic when a senior dog starts acting like a puppy again and the pickiest of eaters can't wait for dinner time. You might think that some spells were cast, but the farmer's dog doesn't use any sorcery. They don't, don't use secret ingredients to make their fresh food. They just use science. The farmer's dog makes and delivers fresh, healthy dog food. It's developed by vets. It's nutritionally balanced and made from real healthy ingredients to human food safety standards. I've been using the farmer's dog with Blake. He absolutely loves it. You put the food down in front of him, he eats it so fast. He absolutely loves the farmer's dog. And you can tell that the ingredients, I could probably eat the farmer's dog dog food and be happy with like a lunch. Yes. It looks that good. It smells good too. The farmer's dog isn't just fresh, higher quality food. They also send the food pre-portioned specifically for your dog based on their unique nutritional needs. They know Blake's a puppy. They know he's, he's growing. They know how much he weighs. So they portion out the food. You don't have to guess. They've got it exactly portioned out for you. And a fresh diet has found has been found to have all sorts of benefits. You get healthier coat, healthier skin, better breath, even easier digestion, and smaller, better poops. His poops have gotten very manageable recently. I love that about the farmer's dog. A healthy diet isn't just important for humans. It's important for your dogs, too. Doesn't matter if your dog's young or old, it's always the right time to begin investing in their health, helping you live more healthy, happy, and full years together. Get 50% off your first box of fresh, healthy food at thefarmersdog.com slash PMT. Plus, you get free shipping. Just go to thefarmersdog.com slash PMT, get 50% off. That's thefarmersdog.com slash PMT. And now, here's more Jerry O'Connell. Still in the AFC North, the Bengals. Mm -hmm. All of them. Oh. Okay. All of them. Um, I just think their offense, specifically, who we're going to target in round two. Again, we're reaching. Mm -hmm. Oh, PFT no, has think, an idea. I, no, I think I know who you're going to say. I'll let you say it. I'm going to let you say it. T. Higgins? No, Joe Mixon. Joe Mixon. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're, remember, we're going running back, running back, Justin Fields. Oh, I thought he was talking about the late round. No, no, no. Okay. No, no, no. We're going running back, running back, Justin Fields. Running back, running back, Justin Fields. <laughs> and I think uh, everyone's going to be very upset with this. We're going to take Joe Mixon in the second round. Okay. okay. I'm I'm a little bit upset with that, but that's uh, fine. Okay. I can't I can't speak because last year I know he got injured, but you got Brees Hall. I think what in the third round? I was like, that's a reach. He looked electric. Obviously, he got injured. Yes. So I'm I trust whatever you yeah. do. I just think Joe Mixon is going to pass the ball. I, I think that I think that Joe Mixon is going to catch a lot of passes this year. I just think Burrow is going to just dump it off to him okay. all the time. I trust okay. you. And um, that's just a hunch that that I have. I yeah. trust it. It's a feeling. Oh, no, Irv Smith on the Bengals. Um, I, I had I we had Kirk Cousins in our league last year, and I just watched him drop so many passes. It's too frustrating. Ooh. It's it's just way too frustrating. Okay. Um, oh, I have a question for you guys staying in the AFC North. How is Deshaun Watson going to do this year? As a person? You know what? I think or a I, as owners, I think we should make a statement. Yeah. We don't want him on our team. Don't draft him. Okay. We don't want that guy. So Why? Those Credit to us because it makes us look good and like heroes for disavowing Deshaun yeah, but Watson. Why wouldn't you want him on your team? He's gonna. He's a running quarterback. He's going to score a lot of points with his legs. We he's have gonna... Justin Fields. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. I no like perverts. you don't fully get it. No perverts on this team. And I'm nervous team. that you're going to draft him. Okay, no, I just, I, no, I was asking you. I wanted your opinion. Jerry, uh -huh. 
Jerry, I'll tell you what. We'll give you one pervert. You can take a pervert on the team, but it can't be Deshaun Watson. Um, <laughs> Jimmy Garoppolo. <laughs> mm-hmm. He's not Bart, a pervert. Odell, kind of a pervert. He's Italian, isn't he? No. He's Greek. Um, Ray Allen. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, we are going to take Nick, Nick Chubb in the first round if he's there. Okay. okay. I like Nick Chubb. Love yeah. that. Um, and uh, none of their wide receiver, like Amari Cooper, just, I know he's not that old. He's probably like in his 20s, but like he, he just feels he, old. He feels like he's like, it's almost, it's also like I identify him with, it's like he dated one of my friends. It's like we can't really, no, it's okay. just not happening. We also told Coach Sirianni, run the damn ball. He seems like he's, it's he's, mo- what did I say, Sirianni? Yeah. Stefanski. Yeah, we, Stefanski's going to run the damn ball this year. So I like I like Chubb a lot. Um, staying in the AFC North, Steelers. None. Zero. Okay. Nothing. I do not believe in Kenny Pickett. I just don't. I'm sorry. sorry Friend guys. of the show. I know. I know. Friend of the show. It's, it's a bummer. But, you know, I mean, look, uh, the other quarterbacks in the AFC, Mahomes, uh, Allen, Lawrence, Burrow, um, Herbert, I, I mean, Pickett, okay, friend of the show, <laughs> um, going to make the jump this year, guys. Um, uh, let's go to the AFC South, Texans. No one. Okay. okay. <laughs> that was probably smart. That was making me nervous. <laughs> Although I do, I like their running back a lot. I know he got hurt last year. Pierce. Pierce is awesome. Yeah, no, uh, I just, you have to watch Texans games. And yeah, like, yeah. Uh, that's I, also you're right. fair. Yeah. I get two and a half yep. quarters this yep. year, and none of that time is being spent on the Texans. Empty calories. Oh, I have a question for you. Name one Texans wide receiver. Uh, Brandon, Brandon Cooks. Cooks. He's no. not there. <laughs> uh, Robert Woods. One of those guys, yeah. yeah. Uh, I can't Texans either. No one can. I think Robert Woods so, might that's be on the not, Texans. Robert that's Woods is on the Texans. I get point for that. Oh, is he? Okay. Yeah. Um, the Colts. You are now season ticket holders, yes. both of you. If he's available, we're going to draft Anthony Richardson as well. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. I think he's going to have an electric year. I think he's going to be really good. He's going to run the ball. Um, but someone, given our wide receiver six, seven, eight, nine rounds, um, we're going to draft Michael Pittman. We think he's going to have a good season. Okay. He's okay. a uh, he's a under the radar wide receiver one, and um, I think Anthony Richardson's a good quarterback. You know, this relationship with wide with with receivers, it's like a it's a threesome. You know, you can't. You also have to like the quarterback. You know, I mean, like. You got to when you're in when you're jumping into bed with two other people. There's got to be a little something you like about the third person, you know, mm-hmm. they can't just be hideous. So you know, you, you like to do the strategy of having like all your eggs in one basket sometimes on a team, right? Where it's like you've got you've got the quarterback and the wide receiver. So you're double dipping, which can be a good strategy if they're good. But if they're bad connection. Yeah, I like the connection. Yeah. But by weeks, it's weird. Um, if it's good. Uh, oh, I don't pay attention ever to bye weeks when I'm drafting. I always hit the end of the draft. And I'm like, well, my entire roster's out week eight and I'll just live with that. Yeah, I, I don't really pay attention to bye weeks either. Um, but um, yeah, I do love a connection. I do love a. Um, it feels oh God, good when they score. What was the What was the really funny? The, the original one, large to. Uh, 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 what was the Seahawks one? Oh, uh, Zorn to large. Zorn to large. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, Edwards, uh, I mean, uh, and Anderson to Edwards. Mm, when you had... Uh, you're just saying Derek wait, Anderson yeah, you're talking to about Brown? Edwards? Yeah. Wow, okay. <laughs> I thought you were like Manning to Harrison. I'm an, Yeah, Manning to Harrison. I'm uh, I'm an order. Anderson, Anderson to Edwards. Anderson to yeah. Edwards. yeah, yeah. Um, oh, man, you'll never remember this, but the first time I came on your show, uh, it was around this time of year, and I talked about how I had a, a tick, like a... Like a an issue where I could only draft Browns mm-hmm. and Jags on my team. Yep. And then I came back on your show and I said, I'm off of both of those teams. Well, you guys are not allowing me to draft Deshaun Watson. Um, but uh, I also went off of the Jags for a few years. But um, I'm back. All the yeah. Jags. All of them. Yeah. Without the word, Jerry's back on the Jags. I think, um, I think Lawrence is going to have that step up year. I think this is his year. Okay. I think Etienne is uh oh I have I had a question for you. Um Mixon or Etienne? 
So I like Etienne, and, and the reason why I like him is because he's got that one kind of fucked up foot. Have you ever watched him run? Oh, yeah. He his does foot, have like a club his, foot. Well, oh, not a club foot. It, I apologize. Duck but it, foot. Yeah. It, it like goes out to the side. So when he runs, I think he's able to go sideways faster than other players because he walks like, what is that, pigeon-toed? Yeah. With his toes pointing out? Yeah. I think in no, ballet, it's, it's like first position. Like Pigeon's you know, opposite. I pigeon. Think penguin? This one. The V. I think pigeon the is v. this. Yeah, I think it's uh duck foot. Is it duck foot? Duck foot. Yeah, he's a duck pigeons foot. when his face is in. Yeah, he's like yeah, it's like wobble. We It's like a penguin. Yeah, you yeah. can you can watch him though when he cuts to the side. It's like holy shit, that guy's foot's different. Yeah. It this is real it nitty-gritty helps stuff we get yeah. into. You really do. You uh you get into the nitty-gritty. Um all the jags, all of them. Okay. Okay. All of them. Every single one of them. Christian Kirk's going in the 6th round. It's exciting. What do you think about Calvin Ridley? I think he's going to have a great year. I think so, too. Would you bet on him? Um, would I bet on him? Yeah. To have like an over-under of like... Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would parlay it with someone else? Yeah, I would I would bet on him. Okay. okay. Sure. Great. Um, uh, where were we? AFC South? Titans. Titans. None. Okay. Okay. None. Okay. Okay. None I felt that one coming, yeah. Uh, I won't even draft Derek Henry if he's okay. up there. So sorry. I just think it's... Uh, I think it's over. Getting back to that, like, you're in a threesome. You know, you can't even take, like, uh, um, DeAndre Hopkins because it's yeah. like Ryan Tannehill's, like, in bed there, and, like, naked, mm -hmm. like, stroking <laughs> right. it. Like, right. come on in. And it's like, in the oh, corner God. watching. <laughs> Sorry? Will Levis is sitting in the corner just watching <laughs> with some mayonnaise on his hand. Hey, what did you what did you think about Max's thoughts on titty fucking? Um, it was revolting because the image is of Max – Climbing on some poor <laughs> woman yeah. with his hairy leg. I mean, could you imagine? He was oh. just like, oh, yeah, okay, hold on a second. I'm going to do something. I always do this. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. And then he went into details. He was like, oh, and you know, you, 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 the tip of your dick is touching their nose because you got a long, skinny dick. Oh, you like that? Uh, let, me, uh, let me get on, climb on top of you. Yeah, you can never talk about this back when those other people owned us. But they bought it back for a dollar, and now I can talk about titty fucking all I want. Oh, sh sh no, no, I've done this before. Just don't move. Oh, I got it. I got it. I'm doing all the work. It's disgusting. It was re fucking revolting. I literally, I had to take a break from your show for a second. You shouldn't allow that, man. Like, get Penn yeah, back in here and yeah. stop that kind Clean of stuff. Up. Clean it up. I mean... It, but it's the image of him yes, doing it. Yes. By the way, I like I, how you went immediately towards him being on top too in uh -huh. this position. But Not that's like, well, it, it's like you, you know, I I listen to the show. I don't watch on YouTube, so I listen. So I like close my eyes and I visualize a lot, like what's happening, and that visualization was disgusting yeah. it was honestly i would rather stand underneath this shit pipe and listen to that woman's kashi shit running down this pipe than have to hear about max titty fucking somebody and then he tried to apologize by saying like oh, my mom heard it it's pretty weird but i'm never gonna stop titty fucking it's just like also like just it's him climbing oh, and like yeah. getting up there. There was like nothing <laughs> hot about it, you yeah. know. No. Straddling her. Oh man. By the way, go. like uh, I'm not like even if Jake said like talked Boys about it, positions. positions. I yeah, I would be like, ah, I kind of okay, okay, okay. I can live with that. But fucking Max, it was so nasty. Oh, okay, enough. <laughs> AFC South. Um, AFC West. Uh, AFC West. Broncos. <laughs> The Broncos. I have a question for you. You guys are owners. Governors. You 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 own this fantasy team. Mm -hmm. Would you draft any Broncos? Uh, I was going to say Jerry Judy, but no. Jerry Judy's going a little late. He's yeah, got a hamstring. Hamstring. Hamstrings, so those linger though. Maybe a little late, Jerry Judy. Keep an eye out. You believe Russell Wilson is I going will, to be able to connect with Jerry Judy? I will. I will not touch Russell Wilson. Okay, so, but if you cast jerry judy in our movie mm -hmm. um you're gonna have to watch some russell wilson are yeah, you you're right okay you're to do right. that you're right so no no broncos uh javante is not bad you know he's so good he's so fast we actually had him on our team the way he hits that hole is so hard but you know we have we have samanje on that team now i don't know what to say he's coming back from that injury i just don't know what's gonna happen okay uh hey, afc west 
Um, Kansas City. You know, here's my problem with Kansas City. They're obviously great. They're obviously, I mean, uh, probably going to go to the Super Bowl again. Um, from a fantasy standpoint, there's just, you never know where it's going or what's, you, you, there's no way to predict what they're going to do. That's right. how good they are. Each right. week is a little bit different. It's yeah. like one one receiver. I, I, would, I wouldn't mind having Justin Ross in like the last round. Okay. If somebody didn't take him. Okay. And Pacheco. Pacheco will have a good year, but I'm telling you, just when you get Pacheco, Jarek McKinnon is running true, touchdowns true, true, in. True, you know, true, true. I mean, they still have uh, Clyde. I think Clyde is still there. Yeah, it's it's impossible to to predict. You're right. And Kelsey is going in the first round, and it's it's just too expensive to take a tight end, man. It's yeah. just too expensive. Raiders, none. Good. Okay. Good. Uh, oh, question for you. Um, we talked earlier about um. Uh, Tom Brady may be taking over. We were joking about him maybe taking over for uh, Brock Purdy when mm -hmm. when that all goes down, and we know he's a childhood Niners fan. I saw on Instagram that he's a part mm -hmm. owner of the Raiders. Mm -hmm. Is he allowed to do that? I don't think. So. I don't think so. That might be one hiccup in our our thought that he's coming back yeah, to the Patriots. Conflict but of interest. He is uh, him and, and Mark Davis, the two most handsome owners in North American sports. Now let me ask you they something. Kind of look alike now that they, you say they it. do. That's probably why why Tom wanted to hang out with him. Imagine those two just. The spoon hounds cruising oh, for tail. Oh God, no girls Vegas. safe. Um, let me ask you something. If uh, I, I mean this is just hypothetical. I mean it's probably not going to happen. But let's say let's say Jimmy G gets injured. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. We're just talking. Yeah. yeah. That just never talk. happens. You have to work yeah. through every scenario. Um, could Tom Brady conceivably come in and play for the Raiders? I think so. Josh McDaniels. I think so. Jesus Christmas, that would be fucking something, I wouldn't think it? So. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. Holy mm -hmm. shit. That would be something, NFL. Make it happen. Make it so. Uh, Chargers. Love all the Chargers. Keenan Allen is going in the sixth round, man. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. He's a good player. I just, I hate I hate the C words. I hate them. I After what happened in the playoffs last year. Yeah, I totally understand it. It's heartbreaking. I think, look, they're going to go seven. It's, it's, they're, they're only going to win seven games. Staley's going to get fired maybe halfway through the season. Sorry, Coach Staley. I, I hate to say it, but... um. I don't care about any of that. From a fantasy standpoint, Justin Herbert is going to compete every game, throw the ball, mm -hmm. and he's going to throw it to Mike Williams. Mm -hmm. He's going to throw it to Keenan Allen. So just hypothetically. Or he's going to throw it to Quinta Johnson, who's going like in like the 10th round. Hypothetically, awesome. this will probably never happen, but what if Keenan Allen gets hurt? Um, <laughs> Then, I mean... Then we're fucked. Then we have Quinta Johnson okay. waiting, right. in, waiting in the wings. Okay. Um, let's go to the – oh, you know what? We're done with the AFC. We like the AFC a lot. Um, let's get to the NFC. Yes. <clears throat> let's start with the NFC East. Now, this is a personal problem I have with the Cowboys. Um, I have a problem with their – I've. I, I, I have a problem with every time I watch a Dallas game, which happens about six times a year, because they always get the prime time slot. You know, they 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 must post numbies because they always give them the Sunday night game or right. the afternoon Fox game. Media darlings. I am so sick of seeing the story on Jerry Jones's grandson playing high school football, mm -hmm. and it's just it, I'm I'm not even making a joke now. Like the fact that he gets Joe Buck and Troy Aikman to talk about it and do it like a little story on it on a nationally televised game, it drives me crazy. It's mm -hmm. like the nepotism is like so it like it actually like it annoy it makes me not be able to watch that team. Wow, mm -hmm. that's how powerful I've uh, that that's how sh strong strongly I I feel about it. It drives me crazy. Do you secretly still watch the Cowboys though? Because I feel like most people they hear. They hear all this annoying stuff about the team. They say, like, fuck the Cowboys, but you can't help but watch. Well, you have to watch because they're going to get three primetime. They do force them yes. down our yeah, throats. Yeah. yeah, No, you're right. Um, and we are probably going to draft Brandon Cooks this uh, season. He's on the Cowboys? He's on the Cowboys now. Wow. How about that? Wow. Um, and I think he's going to have a great year. Okay. I do not believe in Dak Prescott. Sorry about that. Same. Um. Tony Pollard is going to have an incredible year. He uh, he might be a round two for us. If he's up there in round two, yep. 
And I told you we're drafting Joe Mixon. I will take Tony Pollard over Joe Mixon. My worry about Tony Pollard is he he was always like the second guy, and everyone was like, he's better than the first guy. Let's make the second guy the first guy. Is this like maybe maybe we're wrong this entire time? Maybe he's better as a backup. No, I think he's good. Okay. I think he's a real deal. All right. Um, I th- Deuce, I, Deuce Vaughn, though, is very good. I know everyone says that. Deuce Vaughn, I watched him a lot in college. He's really good. I know that. I know that. He might be a late round guy. I know that. And he is. But I'm telling you, um, uh, Tony Pollard's going to have a good year. Okay. Um, if he's there and Joe Mixon is there, or I'm, I'm, I am I'm, realize you guys are looking at your watches. I got to get through this. I'm so sorry. No, but I did. No, I was just I was I replying, did, Jeff D. Lowe doesn't know time zone, so I'd I write did, back to him. I did fly here. I don't know. Paid for the ticket. Yeah, I was not I looking at my watch. Came here and I, I went to at, a Stella Blue event this yeah, morning. No, I had to for, remind for myself if Deuce Vaughn was on the Cowboys. Yeah. He is. Um, set a reminder, uh, Jake. Um, NFC East Giants. Oh, here we go. This is part of our plan. Okay. I remember, you were accusing me of like setting targets and like not being able to budge from them. Mm-hmm. NFC East. We are going to take Darren Waller. We're reaching. In the fourth round, we're okay. taking him. Okay, we're taking so we have him. Justin Fields and Darren Waller, no matter what. Justin Fields, third round. Darren Waller, first round. We're fourth getting round. them. Fourth round. Fourth, yeah. fourth round. We are getting them. That's it. They're on our team. N- there are no other receivers on the New York Giants. There are no other receivers. It is Darren Waller and Darren Waller only. Okay, that's it. Love it. I, 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 um, you know, I, I'm not the biggest Daniel Jones fan. But I think he is going to throw the ball to Darren Waller quite a bit. What if what if Darren Waller's not there? Have you run the scenarios? Well, then we quit the league. Uh, th- he'll be there. That's why we're taking him in the fourth round. Okay. He will all be right. there. All right. He will be there. He will be there. Hypothetically, okay. what right. if someone takes him in third? It's not possible. Okay. It's okay. not possible because people are going to go for uh, Kelsey, um, uh, Hawkinson, um, uh, Andrews, and he's going to be there. Okay. But it's why we're reaching for him, because we have to get him. Because I think he's going to be right up there with Kelsey. Okay. Right. Um. Okay, By the Eagles. Way, lunch break now, just so you know, if you hear voices in the background, they're taking a lunch break right next door. <laughs> Way to go, business Pete. Um, <laughs> uh, Eagles, titty fucker, team titty fucker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get up on the chest. <laughs> Hold on a second, honey. I got Make it a little, a little bit up. <laughs> no, no, I've done this before. I've done this before. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> disgusting. Um, I mean, in the first round, if it wasn't in our league and it wasn't our plan, I would take Jalen Hurts in the first round. Okay. I, 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 I would. <laughs> <laughs> that was an air horn. Is that from... Is that the Jalen Hurt? Is that- I think that's just the lunch break. They just got an air horn just, at lunch. Just yeah. dudes blowing horns at lunch. Can you yeah. believe I fucking flew here expecting I, to see the new studio that I you've been told, talking about? No, and I this is very an absolute. Much, I was very it is clear. actually a shithole. Literally, the shit clear. is ne- near my head. I was very clear that the new studio wasn't open. <laughs> God, you know, they always say, like, don't like meet your heroes. Yeah. <laughs> this is like, you, we should have done this on Zoom with my wife asking me but uh, I couldn't do it at home my wife oh, yeah, my wife is watching there. Magnolia Network nonstop. no one's working everyone's in the house my kids are vaping it's a fucking nightmare <laughs> get me out of there Cal gonna take me away um, yeah Hertz is the only one we're taking on the Eagles sorry Max I mean AJ Brown is going in the second round Devonta Smith is going in the third they're too Crazy. expensive that's where mm-hmm. Justin Fields goes yeah <laughs> we can't do that the commanders Feeling Johan Dotson. Okay, yeah. Oh, feeling him a lot. I like He's going to be one of our wide receivers. It's going to say a, his name. It might be a situation where uh, McLaurin's got the turf toe, right? Which is like... I m- think so. The most Worth deadly it. injury Worth of it. all time. For the biggest win in, in franchise history. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we, we <laughs> beat the, we beat the Ravens. Uh, <laughs> no regrets. But we're gonna Preseason. See, we're going to see Jahan as number one to start the year, probably. I think so. And it's going to be hard to look away from him after Sam Howell gets that connection. Hey, can I ask you? That is you, a great threesome, though. Um, ev- everyone was making fun of me for my get wide receivers in six, seven, eight, nine. Now that I've explained it to no, you, it does sense. it make a little sense? I, I, yeah. I see your vision, and it makes a lot of sense. Thank you. Um, so good luck this season. It's going to be fun. How how you feeling about your quarterback? Uh, I I think he can be average. Hmm, okay. I think he can be average. <laughs> Put out the word. Put out the word. I want I want the haters to know Sam Howell is going to have 
like the most average season perfectly of all average. time. And that means that we're going to make the playoffs. We might even win a playoff game. Yeah, perfectly average is good. Perfectly average is great. Yes. That would be a perfectly average quarterback would be the best quarterback that I have probably seen in 23 years in D.C. <laughs> so it would be awesome. Oh, man. Um, NFC North. Bears, we all know our plans for Justin Fields. Yep. It's going to be really exciting here. Hey, guys, it's going to be exciting to live in this town. It's going to be a fun football season. It is going to be fun. Uh, we're not taking anyone else. We're only taking Justin Fields, though. Okay. Sorry. I okay. don't think Khalil can catch a ball. Sorry. Um, DJ Moore is going to probably go too high for our strategy. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. We're just... Uh, Maybe but a flyer. This is now a late, late flyer. But, like... 13th, 14th round, Chase Claypool. I actually think that he could. He's playing for money. Yeah. He slots in better now that, Dar that DJ Moore's there. Yeah. Just saying, just a flyer. You know, it's got a little bit of a um, a scent of juju where it's okay. like sort of like old guys have been around a little bit and it's like, it oh, yeah, worked, I, yeah, I recognize that name. Yeah. Let me get it. And it just, I'm telling you, when you plug them in, it, it doesn't okay. happen. Okay, okay, okay. It's, it's a little inflated. Um, the Lions, man, I love that Jameer Gibbs. It would be so fun to take him. Um, but he's like going in like the third round, and that's when we're taking Justin. Justin sorry, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm sorry, guys. I, I know. Uh, no, I, 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 you are running this team. We're hands off. Green Bay. No one. Nice. Okay. Good. 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 Vikings. Only Alexander Madison, possibly. Oh no! You know what? Also, uh, Jordan Addison, if he's around in our six, seven, eight, nine, oh, ten, love like him that. as a, That'd be good as a wide wide receiver. Um, but uh, you know, it's so funny if we don't get a if if something goes wrong in the first two rounds and we don't get a running back in those first two rounds. Let's say we take a. I don't know if somebody's on the board that we have to take like late in the first, like Justin Jefferson, and you have to take him. Um. You can take Alexander Madison as your second RB. Uh, I think he'll be okay. 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 Um, but man, I gotta tell you one problem with the Vikings. I I I, I, I hate players who wear those rubber wedding bands. I, I just oh, I hate yeah. Kirk Cousins wears yeah. that. It's just such like I Andy I Dalton am, was a big one. I am married. I am married. Okay. I'm you know sort of happy at times. It's okay. It's it's going. Uh, we're married. You know, we're doing it. We're together, and as an actor, you know, when I used to act, um, the first thing you do is you take your wedding ring off, and it's like, oh, fucking, this is like a, I'm able to just take it off, boom, come to work, it's off, gone, and I don't have to be like, why did you take it off, and it's like, I had to, I'm playing a character in Kangaroo Jack, it doesn't wear a wedding ring, you know, he's not married, I'm getting into character. The fact that you're given an excuse to take your wedding ring off and then you put on a rubber wedding ring to replace that wedding ring, it's just, it's so annoying to me. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. I, I went no, off no, that's right, that's good. I, I think it's a valid point. I want guys that are married yeah. to the game. Yeah. You should make a ring out of a football. Mm -hmm. Like a pigskin, a pigskin, pigskin ring? ring. Yeah. That's what I want my quarterback wearing. Mm -hmm. I like that. Uh, NFC, NFC, NFC South, Falcons. Oh, Bijan might be fun to get. First round? Yeah. If yeah. he's there, we're going to take him. He's going high. It's going to be fun. Uh, yeah. Okay. Are you no, you're not feeling good about that? No, I just, I'm I'm trying to wrap my hands, my head around the strategy here. He's going very high. He's going very, yeah. very He's going high. first round. I yeah. mean, like, top, sometimes he's top six. So, and that's what we're going six. running So, back. no Bijan, then we're taking Joe. No, uh, Joe's second no, no, round. No, 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 no. Joe's second round. Who? This is first round. Chubb. Okay. Yeah. Bichon, Chubb. Chubb. I forgot Bichon. about Chubb. That's, that's a missing Chubb or Bijan. Okay. Caffrey. I like if it's up there. I I, I don't, I don't want to watch Niners games. Sorry, okay. Niners fans. I like, um, well, no. Re, you should really apologize. To I do want to apologize to Niners fans. They're the most frightening fan base out there. Those uh, We all watch fight videos. We all, hey, there's a fight at the Panthers game. You watch it. It's usually a drunk person and a woman getting in the middle. And yep. it's like everyone's missing punches. You click on a 49ers fight. There's like people punch to kill. It's like, <laughs> you know, it's so, it's so, they're, it's so funny. I always click on 49ers fights in the stands and it's usually, I don't want to stereotype and generalize, but it's usually a shape. It's a very muscular shaved head person and they're just throwing like roundhouse after roundhouse, but their head, they're such good fighters. 
their head is not moved. They are completely locked in on <laughs> the temple and head, like yeah, the target, brain. Yeah. And they're just like, just hammering, just laying haymaker after haymaker. And it's like, you watch it in horror. I, I have a I have a great deal of respect for all Niners fans. I want no beef with you. You're great fighters. Brock Purdy ain't gonna cut it. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I would say Eagles fans are also pretty deadly fighters, but they no they it's go not for like, like a, they go they just swing wildly. You know they throw a lot of punches. No. Niners, Niners fans, fans have they been have trained. Yes. They've been trained. Yeah, yes. they've weapons. been trained. They're yeah. ready. They're waiting for it. Yeah, they, they, they have weapons. There was one no, in the no, burger I was joint. They are weapons, but yeah. Uh, well, like NFC Navy South Seals. Panthers. Don't fight a White Sox fan either. Yeah, Panthers. Absolutely no one. Okay. Sorry. Um, that's fair. Saints. Nobody. I mean, Alave is going to be good in the second round, but we're taking uh, we're running back. Joe take, Mixon. Take a Joe Mixon. <laughs> uh, Bucks. It's over. It's over. Yep. It's over. It's over. It's just over. God, I feel so bad for Mike Evans. He's a Hall of Famer. I am not totally out on Baker yet. This might be a personal problem that we have, but yeah, we want to keep believing in him. Hmm. You know, like he was, his, he was good on the Browns, Jerry. He was a good player for a couple of years. Hmm. He still got that in him. He was good in those. Those commercials were pretty funny when Alice Cooper's like there and he's like lives at the stadium. Yeah, Man, he might be stuff. too good of an actor. That might be the issue. Um, Arizona, uh, NFC South, absolutely no one. San Francisco, I think we're going to find out why he's called Mr. Irrelevant. Mm. You know, it's so funny. When you were in the NFL and you're in a position like quarterback, like y y there's a reason why you've gone through so many like tests and levels and like and had to prove yourself because um it's a long arduous career and I, I'm just I don't I don't see it from him I think he's gonna have a bad season okay All right um oh but uh uh getting back to our wide receivers six seven eight nine Brandon Ayuk yep gonna be a good uh grab uh see getting back uh, 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 NFC uh, NFC uh were we in the NFC west west, the west. uh the Seahawks um Tyler Lockett is gonna be a grab in the six mm -hmm. seven eight or nine um, not going to touch their running game because I have no idea what's going on with Walker and Chardonnay. Um, <laughs> but uh, DK is going too early. And Rams, absolutely no one. It's over. Yeah. Okay. That's it's it. Over. That's my breakdown. That's yeah, my right, strategy. I, like break so I, I like that we have a crystal clear strategy. Yeah. How, now, how often do you go into these drafts with a precise strategy? And then, like two rounds in, you just blow it all up. It usually uh, third round. It usually all falls apart. We need <laughs> Justin Fields. Um, third round, it usually falls apart. You know, sometimes you get a little greedy, and you're like, Justin Fields will be around round four, but then when he gets taken, it fucks you up. And because you're being timed, it's like being on Family Feud or something. You just say a stupid or pick a stupid pick because you're flustered. So I, I, I just. I want Justin Fields in the third, and I want Darren Waller in the fourth for our it. team. I love okay. it. That's all I want. Yeah. Everything else, I'm open. I'm open to the universe. I'm open to the universe, man. But those are rocks. We but get that those is too. It's a foundation. Yeah. We build, build a house with the foundation. And also, you know what? Um, this is your team. You live in Chicago. Uh, I think it'd be fun to root for Justin Fields. Yeah. yeah. We, for the hometown we guy. Have, yeah. uh, we have skin in the game. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have one last question. Rowback. Is it question. a rowback question? <laughs> Rowback.com, promo code TAKE, 20% off your first purchase. Q zips, polos, hoodies, joggers, shorts. I'm wearing the joggers right now. I wore the shorts yesterday when we were golfing. Love rowback. Rowback.com, promo code TAKE. I don't even have a question. I just know that you. Did you write a poem? I, I did. I, I wrote a little something for those who maybe this is the first time they're hearing me on the show. Uh, I'm sorry if I lost my train of thought. I just got off a plane and also there was shit running next to my head there was shit. this yeah. entire episode <laughs> and I was about to say something about Coach Sala and then I, I would actually hear the like the shit going up a pipe <laughs> inches away from my head but I wrote a poem um, I typically pick someone uh, here on the staff and stuff and um, Jake I thought it was time that you yeah got All right, Jake. Uh, let's go <clears throat> let's go <clears throat> 
This is a poem for Jake. Okay. Uh, shout out to my buddy who helped, who really did help me write this. He's a great guy. He, big time AWL. Okay. <clears throat> it's a poem for Jake. Jakey, Jakey, Jakey. Your skills in the announcer booth, simply put, are sick. Fucking unreal. That was the toilet. <laughs> okay, we're starting over. We're okay, starting all over. All right, redo, redo. God, I'm going to fucking... Do you hear it? They, yeah, they've yeah, got to yeah, hear it yeah, on yeah, the yeah. air, right? Yeah. A poem for Jake. Jakey, Jakey, Jakey. Your skills in the announcer booth, simply put, are sick. Jakey, Jakey, Jakey. And you never, ever denigrate someone's Mount Rushmore pick. Mm. Jakey, Jakey, Jakey. To the man behind the men... Who always comes to play. Jakey, Jakey, Jakey. To the man who enters chat rooms asking, is Obama gay? <laughs> Jakey, Jakey, Jakey. Holding your own with this crew every day is quite a feat. Jakey, Jakey, Jakey. Even with all that pressure, at least you would have remembered to pay the electric bill, unlike business Pete. <laughs> Jakey, Jakey, Jakey. We're happy you made the cross states trek with all the boys. Jakey, Jakey, Jakey. Let's hope Business Pete didn't fuck up again and in the new studio we get all that Chicago street noise. Mm -hmm. Or shit. Jakey, 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 unlike Hank, you don't hate the libs and you don't hate the commies. Jakey, 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 and like a good little boy, every night at seven, you call the daddy and mommies. <laughs> Jakey, 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 as an announcer, you are cutting edge and all the trends you are bucking. Jakey, 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 unlike Max, when getting airtime, you don't boast about all your titty fucking. <laughs> yeah, I fuck them. My long dick hits their nose. Jakey, 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 you've set up shop here. You've staked your claim. You've raised your teepee. Jakey, 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 all of this, even after everyone in your high school saw your little peepee. <laughs> Jakey, 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 you pride yourself on being a man of faith and you pride yourself on being a man of fun. Jakey, 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 as there is a drive into deep left field by Castellanos, <laughs> it will be a home run. Jakey, 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 you're as hot as OnlyFans and as exciting as a match on Grinder. Jakey, 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 <laughs> we will always love you. And for that, you can set a reminder. Jake, ladies and gentlemen. Great job, Thank Jerry. you, Jerry. Yeah. That was fantastic. Yes. Great job. I'm hanging that up in my apartment. Thank you so much. Gee, Jerry, you're the best, man. Thank Ironically you, enough, he's the boss who I had to go meet, the uh, the big boss man. Oh, Wait, Jerry Owen? Who helped me write this Wait, is so the big boss name. man. I didn't say his whole name. Right, but his name is <laughs> He's the president of a real company. <laughs> Don't look it up. Come on. Leave him alone, please. 69. <laughs> uh, oh, I see. I see. Okay, come on. Careful, careful, careful. Don't get me in trouble. Okay. Please I mean, cut this part out. I'm not sure he wants to be known oh, as like. Oh, yeah. okay. I'm not sure he wants to be known as someone who helped me write. Uh, hey, what rhymes with titty fucking? <laughs> uh, you know, yeah, yeah. They pants Jake. They saw his dingling in high school. Uh, come on, there's like. HR shit for that. <laughs> uh, Jerry, you're the best. Thank you so much as always. Thank you for making the track. We love you. Love you guys. This is why you're a Mount Rushmore guest. Love you guys. Love you, Jerry. Jerry O'Connell was brought to you by our great friends at Sport Clips. Your hair might grow fast, but after going to Sport Clips haircuts, you wish it grew even faster. That's because Sport Clips has the best seats and hair, and that may or may not be because they happen to be right in front of TVs playing sports all day, every day. We know that watching sports while getting a haircut sure beats watching your reflection get a haircut, which is why at Sport Clips, every day is clippers and curveballs, high tops and Hail Marys, even waves and wickets if you're into that sort of thing. At Sport Clips, you can check in with the pros and men's hair and totally check out with pure, uninterrupted relaxation. Plus, they got the MVP experience. Legendary. Get the hot towel. Get the massaging shampoo. Sport Clips is the best place to get your haircut. All with sports on TV. Sport Clips, it's a game changer. And now, it's Mount Rushmore time. Okay, Mount Rushmore finale. It's been a great Mount Rushmore season. Until the last episode. I've enjoyed it. Yeah, until the last episode. I've enjoyed it greatly. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. 
I feel like the stakes were fun. Hey, I can you the not teams sign into the microphone? The, Shut the fuck up. The <laughs> fact that it came down to the second to last uh, uh, Mount Rushmore was great. Remember the beginning of the season when it was like, I think Billy and Jake didn't Which get it. was like three weeks ago. Yeah, three board. weeks to get a point. Uh, but Max and Hank will be the ones in the box. They will be in the isolation chamber. Probably the best outcome because you get me and PFT will announce it. And Max and Hank, they they do not want to be with each other for 24 hours. Plus, we get to think of all the ways to fuck with them while they're, they're in the box. Yes. Man in the arena. How does it feel, Hank? Yes. Feels good. I'm excited. Um, You're excited? Yeah. Do you think that you let Max down? Yeah. Yeah, you did. Yeah. You 100% did. Mistakes were made. Uh, it is what it is. I'm not going to, you know, be upset about it. I'm just going to try and make the best out of a shitty situation. Mm -hmm. I like that. I don't. Thanks, Jake. Jake loves it. I want to torture you. No, I, I mean, listen, you, uh, again. I love it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, not going to yeah, yeah. denigrate it. It's like, yeah, the, you go, you know, the majority of this podcast was on one team, and then you got the two little slivers on two other teams. Oh, stop it, Obviously, Hank. you guys are going to win. <laughs> You're all of our bosses. Really it was so close, and you just you. It was just so close up. despite the fact that the two hosts were yeah, on the same gave, team. Yeah, but you gave, but we did it, we did it, I feel like we did it. As anonymous as possible. There was no retweets, which is probably stupid for us in terms of engagement. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like we probably should change that next we year. Locked, we're we're going to change yeah, some we, things. We did the not. We did not talk about the Mount Rush. And accidentally, I would have to delete the next tweet because I forgot. Like, oh, I locked the reply. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It, when you when you actually look back at the at the playbook here, this is probably the the worst way to promote a podcast. Be like, <laughs> we're going to do an entire segment all summer, and never talk about it. But we're here. We are. I thought it was as fair as could be, and you still you are going to complain. I'm not complaining. It is what it is. How Again, would you fix it, Hank? I would separate you guys on teams. Okay. All right, fine. Maybe next summer we'll do that. I thought next summer we weren't doing. Yeah, next well, summer we're going to do, do free form. Because I, I, yeah, again, like there were some picks I made that were funny. I did them as a joke, and, and that cost me. And, and being funny is a crime, then put me in the, put me in the were 24 they funny? What was your show. funniest pick? Oh, man. I mean, the when I Jerome Bettis on the Rams? That was a good pick. Um, <laughs> that was so funny. Peeing next to Ed Sheeran or peeing your pants in uh, Mark Schlereth. I think you shouldn't be mad at me and PFT. I think you should be mad that you went up against AI in Jake. <laughs> no. That's really what happened. Again, we talked about it. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be a sourpuss. The 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 game's over. The season's over. But if you There's were gonna you be a do. sourpuss, if I was gonna be a sourpuss. You guys told Billy not to text uh, Jake back, and then had memes have to do his what? three. No, we form. never said. I that. never did. Anything. I never told Billy wait, not wait. to text Jake in, in back. Your, the it, last. The last. In your, in your grand conspiracy brain, you think that the reason that Billy <laughs> didn't do work was because we told him not to. Also, Billy was actively trying to lose this. Thing. If we told him not to, he probably would do it because he'd be like, "They're trying to get." me somehow yeah. but and that those those three those three episodes with memes were you just the x factor those those three the the having to do the hungover because you drank on a weekend you did <laughs> <laughs> it just ended the whole thing it is what it is i'm honestly i'm i'm excited we'll make some good content out of it this everyone loves me and max which the, basically the whole show at this point so <laughs> wait, the people got what they want wait, he's not a sourpuss wait, people wait is it a tiny sliver or is it the whole show you gotta according to you guys it's like everyone other. like <laughs> people want me and max. we want it on the record he's not being a sourpuss about this i'm not i'm excited right. i've said yeah, that multiple sure. times excited. all right so you want to do mount rushmore pizza toppings for real this time <laughs> sure okay uh who what's the order it's me and Billy, Hank and Max, Big Cat and PFT. What did AI bring up? Because PFT and I are just doing it off the rip. Same. Oh, okay. What about you, Hank? No. Oh, you no you, prep. You prepped? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Okay. Pepperoni. Oh, good pick. Good pick. That's what Google said. Okay. Man, yeah. I wish Jake hadn't gone first because I just wanted to throw it for Hank again. Yeah, I want to do double <laughs> olives. Green olives. Double olives. <laughs> I'll go spinach. Oh, oh no! <laughs> what a baby! What a baby! That's really again. I'm not going to complain, but if I was going to complain, I'd tell you guys ruined this entire. <laughs> I think that was baby. my first pick two years ago. What a fucking baby! <laughs> we should, all right, um, <laughs> you know what? Now, now I want to beat Hank at losing. <laughs> Uh, you want to beat Hank at losing? Yeah, we'll go artichokes. Good pick, big cat. I and then we artichokes. have the wraparound. Yeah, so for yeah. the second one, let's go um, <laughs> anchovies. <laughs> okay, anchovies. Yeah. Good pick. Good pick. Thanks. Give me olives. Okay, which, which kind? kind? Black. Okay. All right. Jake. Damn, I can't believe this hasn't been taken yet. Yeah. Bacon. Oh, <laughs> good one. <laughs> Fuck. Good. good one, Jake. I can't. Oh, that's stupid of us. Yeah. Okay. Next. 
Big meat guy. Let's go meatballs. Okay, meatballs. Oh, okay. That's good. That's good. Hank, yeah, you're back up. Uh, let's go no cheese, no sauce. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe you left us an olive. Yeah. Would you take black? You want to take green olives? You, you want to take it? I, I have some. I have else. another one, oh, too. Oh, all right. What, did you, what, was you, what were you thinking? I was going to say little human cum. Oh, okay. Nice. Little um, human. Is that the thing? All right. Thing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hum, no, literal. Uh, literal oh, literal. Yeah, I'll no. go with the last pick. Let's go uh, beans. Oh, good pick. Yeah, <laughs> beans. I love beans on a pizza. <laughs> like, give me toenails. <laughs> What should Ma uh, Mr. Relevant be for? You got a lot. There's a lot. Left. Oh fuck! I forgot about sausage. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> you can get sausage. Oh, damn it! Sausage Late still pick. on the board. Sausage. <laughs> Extra cheese. Uh. Damn it! <laughs> what are you gonna take, Jake? Come on. We're gonna make this a Mount Rushmore of meat and go barbecue chicken. Oh, uh, nice! Pepperoni, That's a great bacon, pick. meatballs, and God barbecue damn it. chicken. It's a great pick. All right, so read back the. Uh... So me and Billy have pepperoni, bacon, meatballs, barbecue chicken, okay. Hank and Max okay. have spinach, olives, no cheese slash no sauce. Is yeah. that one pick? Yeah, and, that's and toenails. Right. Okay. Big Cat and PFC artichokes, anchovies, literal human cum, and beans. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh, it's gonna be a race to see who loses this one. I think we might have you beat. Uh, yeah, we'll probably come in second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Max is very upset. He's like, I'm literally going to lose every bet that ever is made on this podcast. No second place, though, for Max. Yeah, so true. what do we have to do? You have to stay in a room for 24 hours. On We're going to build a box. We're hopefully going to get it sponsored. And you're going to have to stay in the room for 24 hours. I think we said every couple hours we'll give you. I think you said one break. item every hour gets thrown in. Yes. Right? But the, the P breaks, we said like every couple hours. Um, and yeah, you guys just have to sit there on camera. We'll, we'll, we'll telecast it. We'll talk. P, me and PFT. I think we'll probably have. We'll get some Nick, other people involved. Yeah. Nick help out. And uh, we'll basically do a podcast while we just watch while the AWLs. Watch the two of you have to just sit there with nothing to do. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> Not being sour. It's gonna about suck it. so bad, dude. Hank, you know this could happen to any of it us. It is what it is. You get one pillow. Yeah, I'll just sleep the whole time. You no, know, you. That's what I said. It, I told PFT. I was like, I think Hank can sleep twenty four hours. It's gonna be great watching Hank just fall asleep and Max just pacing around the room. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> get up. <laughs> Come on. No, no, no. You guys should just play. You Maybe we'll like put like a chessboard in there uh, or something. Rock, paper, scissors. Well, yeah. Like I, if, if it was like you just gave us 24 hours and we could like do stuff that's to entertain people. Well, we're we going to add that, things. But if it's like. Yeah, no, we're going to add things I every hour. There should, there should be like arts and crafts. Maybe yeah. painting. Maybe you guys could paint. Yeah, we'll add fun what things. What do you get to do in prison? Read the Bible? I think the first hour you're just going to have to sit there and then we'll we'll slowly add some things. Maybe some fun things. Okay. Maybe what if we do like the hot dog thing where like if they do a task, time gets chipped away. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we've done that. Hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be fun. It'd be hey? so funny if you, whatever. What? Whatever. No. What? what are you going to say? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No, I'm not saying it. Say, say it. it. No, I'm, say I'm, it. I'm, I'm excited for the opportunity. No, say it. Say it. Uh, no, I'm not going to I'm not going to talk until you say it. Say it. Come on, Hank. Say it. What were you going to say? Say it, you fuck. You fuck you. Can you please say it? Say it. Please, Hank. Oh, man. You're ruining, you're ruining this. Come on. Please. Please say it. No. Why? Because it, it's, it's sourpuss. It's complaining. No, and but, I'm not all right, doing so, that. So text it to me. I'll say it. So you don't have to say it. Perfect. PFT, do the last ad, and then we'll, I'll say it. Okay, while well, we're waiting for Hank to say it, finally, I uh, want to let you guys know that Firefest of the Week is being brought to you by our great friends over at Babbel. Trying to learn a new language? Well, you should be using Babbel. If you have travel plans this summer, you should learn to speak like a local with Babbel because with Babbel, you can start speaking a new language in just three weeks. Why Babbel? Because it works. Instead of paying hundreds of dollars for a private tutor or fooling yourself with language apps that are little more than games, Babbel's quick 10-minute lessons are designed by over 150 language experts to help you start speaking a new language in as little as three weeks. Babbel is designed by real people for real conversations. All of Babbel's tips and tools for learning a new language are approachable, accessible, 
rooted in real-life situations, and delivered with conversation-based teaching. Studies from Yale, Michigan State University, and others continue to prove that Babbel is better. They've got over 10 million subscriptions sold, so you know that Babbel is real language learning for real conversations. And here's a special limited-time deal for our listeners. Get you started right now. Get 55% off your Babbel su subscription, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash PMT. That's 55% off at babbel.com slash PMT. That's B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash PMT. You, yes, I'm talking to you. You've got a vacation planned. You're going overseas. You want to learn to speak the language? Use Babbel. I'm telling you, it's the easiest way. Don't go to the library. Check out textbooks. Don't watch YouTube videos. Use babbel.com slash PMT because we're giving you 55% off. Rules and restrictions may apply. Okay, Hank, did you text to me? Mm-hmm. Okay, Hank said if if PFT and Hank had to do nope, this part. No, read what I said. If PFT and Hank had no, to do this part. No, that's not what I said. That's not what I said. If PFT and I, this is you saying No, this is you saying Had to do it. this punishment, we would have been such babies about it and made it so we can do activities we would say it would be boring for the viewers otherwise we said we're going to give you activities we just said painting yeah arts and crafts i don't we would have done the same rules we made the rules before you get one thing added every single hour that's why i didn't say anything. we would have figured out a way to make <laughs> it's it good thing you didn't say it i know because it was wrong <laughs> i correct which is why i didn't say anything and you guys cried that's fair i can't you know what we can't get mad at him for not saying it because he didn't say it he texted me and i said it but if you the if you had said what you were thinking, you'd have been wrong. Correct. But right. I but I can read your mind right now. Hank, Firefest of the Week. <laughs> do you do some people are saying <sighs> some people are saying <laughs> you like two episodes ago declared summer over and time to work, and since that moment you've been grumpy. Some people are saying that. I'm not grumpy. I'm happy. I literally said I'm excited for the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Think of all the exposure you're going to get, Hank. Yeah. Dude, you should you sell ads huge. on your body. Yeah. Oh, you make some money. Sick. I honestly, nah, I'm not. Again, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be honest on this show. I can't be honest on the show. I know it'll get used against me, so I'm no, not going to say anything. Text me. Text no, me. No, no, absolutely not. Um, <laughs> that was going to be really mean. That was going to be so <laughs> mean. No, so no, I was going to say something honest just, about myself and that you guys would have used it against me during the stream. I was going to say something that I'm thinking and, and fearful of, but. Oh, okay. Spiders? Working? Snakes? No. Staying away? <laughs> I've been here for 17 hours today. I'm exhausted. Uh, and we can do a group fire effects. I think because yesterday. Yeah. Yep. I was going to, I was going to talk about that too. group fire. Or I'll, do you want, do you have another one? Yeah, I'll do another one, but we can all share in this one. Group fire fest yesterday. Uh, we filmed some videos for Bushmills, some golf videos. One of the videos was speed golf and my whole body's broken. Oh yeah. I'm so injured. My back is just shattered. It, Electric video though. Worth it. It's, it was my hammy, my back. My shoulders hurt this morning. I don't know how you can hurt your shoulders running. Yeah. But I did. I was dehydrated. I woke up this morning with a headache because I was I was pissing orange. It was a real awakening that we're not young bucks anymore. Yeah, I was and I was it, looking at my health stats yesterday from because we, we both logged it on our watches because we were exercising, playing golf. It's actually very sad how hard, how high my heart rate got just from playing golf yesterday. Yeah. It was incredibly sad incredibly sad but it's going to be a very very funny video i don't like what chain and memes are laughing at what just how bad we looked i just keep laughing at uh the final hole oh yeah evan just driving on the oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah evan evan pug, pug uh who does a great job with our youtube i don't think we have this on video but he we were just standing there wrapping the video and he just drove his cart on the green <laughs> And we all were like, dude, what are you doing? And With he was one like, hand on the top what? of the steering wheel. <laughs> In the most casual, what? You can't do this? Yeah, he's like, I don't golf. I don't know. It was so good. So, so good. I probably laughed harder than I ever have in my life, though, watching Big Cat Sprint. Uh, it, it was, was, it was, was, it was fast. fast. It was funny. Uh, and then this isn't really a fire. F this is a future fire fest. Uh, I'm going to my first bachelor party with like my, my friends, people I grew up with. I went, I went to my brothers, but this is my first, you know, friend group bachelor party, 30 dudes, Nashville. That's way too many dudes. Three days. Oh, uh, man. It's the opposite of Morgan Wallen concert. And then we have, you know, 
football starting after. So I'm already – you thought I was grumpy this week. Oh. Coming should, off a three-day <laughs> bachelor you know party what? in Nashville. We should do one last Mount Rushmore for when Hank comes back super hungover. Yes. Maybe even three of them. Good luck, Hank. Yeah, thank you. I mean, I've been I, to a bachelor party in Nashville. It was so much fun, but it took so much out of me. Three days, too. I feel like yeah. most are like two days. This you got to get a picture in front of those angel wings. Yeah. Do that. Yeah. No, actually, when I, I went on my the bachelor party, my friend's bachelor party in Nashville, it was 2014, and it was Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then the Blackhawks played game seven against the Kings on Sunday, so we went to the bar in Chicago, and I was I, and they lost in overtime in the Western Conference final. I was just a beaten, beaten man. So, yeah, I feel like it's going to be a lot. You know, it's the first bachelor party in the friend group. I feel like people are going to be turned up to a, to a 20. How many houses are you getting? It's like two townhouses next to each other. It's like all my friends I grew up with, and that's then awesome. all of his like college hockey awesome. friends. So yeah, it's like awesome. two houses. That kicks ass. That's a lot of dudes, though. A lot of dudes. A lot of dudes. A lot of dudes. Okay, PFT. Uh, my fire fest is I feel like shit from golfing, and also uh, the super moon. Did you guys see the super moon last night? It's the last super moon I think until twenty thirty seven. It was a big deal. Apparently, it makes dogs act fucking insane. So Blake did not bite my penis again, but he bit every other part of my body last night. Whoa. Because the super moon. Super moon. Because the super moon did it. And, and the super moon, for some reason, I think it's been like studied that kids also misbehave a lot during super moons. Really? During, yeah. They're like tides or the gravity. The gravity affects their little bodies more. So I've heard a lot of people had dogs that were fucking around yesterday. So it, that's because of the super moon. Super moon. Blake woke me up at 3 a.m. He woke me up at 6 a.m. He uh, peed in the house. He bit me again, every part of my body except for my penis. Shout out Blake, he's learning. But um, yeah, the supermoon fucked my dog. Yeah, that's that's not good. That is not good. No. Supermoon, they become wolves. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I had a pretty good week, except for my body being broken. Uh, oh, I can't. Maybe someone can help me who's listening to this. I on the ESPN. I'm trying to get all my. I've been doing test runs of the new channels, streaming. Everything's got to be set for for the first college football weekend. Um, on my ESPN app on my phone, I can't log out of my old uh, cable provider, so I can't watch games on my phone. Yeah, I, I went. Oh, how? how? I actually, that's happened. I've to had me. the same. Issue. How do I do it? I went, they won't let me sign out. I went through that with Fox Sports during uh, I don't know, some some soccer thing that was happening. This is such a disaster. Yeah, it's tough because I need to be able to like. There's a lot of times when like I was tonight. I was I was laying in my son's. Uh, room before you went to bed i was in the bottom bunk trying to watch the game couldn't do it mm -hmm. just furious i think i just i hit every button every combination of buttons possible until it logged me out so someone please help me someone please 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 help me uh okay jake wrap us up uh yeah i ordered a couch and it was damaged in transit Pretty that's simple. your fire fest How not something that happened on the golf course i mean i guess we'll have to wait for the video no spoilers how damaged was it i want to spoil it so spoil it no, no, don't spoil it. Uh, you can bleep that. <laughs> Just bleep that. Um, they sent me a used one instead. The next, the new one will be used. Well, the new one will be sent. It's probably got come on it. Month. So wait, the one that you got was used. Yeah, just temporary. How could you tell? Temporary. Oh. They, they, they told me. Oh, wait, no, I'm saying the one that got fucked up. They never even sent it. They oh, they didn't they, send they it. Told okay. Me on the phone. Got it, was it. Damaged. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Well, at least you have a regular apartment now, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's coming so you're together. Fine. You're Been fine. here six weeks. And yeah. It'll be, so. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Jake okay. knows that couch has to be able to withstand some heavy pounding. Yes. Yes. Mr. Positions yep. needs a lot of bend on that couch. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, next week, three shows. As tradition, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, football's all the way back. We have an awesome interview with Field Yates coming, which is a full NFL preview. Uh, probably going to get Pete Prisco, our yep. good friend Pete Prisco on. We also have a great interview with Dan Patrick coming on Friday. It's going to be a great week. Everyone enjoy your last weekend where you don't, you know, you can see your family on a Sunday. All that stuff. Because after this weekend, it's go time, baby. Um, all right, numbers. I'll do 69 this time. Three. 18. I'll do 17. Memes, have you ever gotten this? No. What is your guess? One. What's your guess, Shane? Ten. 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 53. Ah. 53. 53. Okay. See everyone on Tuesday. Love you guys.